Wonder if all my bad decisions get accounted in the algorithm. No statistician could dissuade me from my bigger vision. I know my occupation's quite an unlikely place in this world to occupy and talk about upon a daily basis. Our information's predetermined by some biased business. We all in sermon to silicon that push up lovely neighbors. I'm done with paper chasing, think I'm on to bigger banquets. Miss that full circle, new wave, energy on a Tuesday. Turn a blue day to a bright hue, yellow with a smooth A in hair. Extra fruit, a brand, you can't move me. The music is man, it's a con job, but it's grand. I'm blessed with a great hand amongst many that stand. Yeah, it took some hard work. Blind up, play a huge role. And they say that it don't, but they're feeding you fool's gold. And if I know one thing, the truth's home. Even if it's a tough thing to swallow, an even harder thing to hold, and truly know with not a doubt while on the globe. Even though that seems inherent, it ain't always so apparent. Dangle carrot, you ain't always gonna get it. But don't worry, it's a pretty February. In a year with more to carry, and more days is yet to come. Under the sun, taking the ferry to the city, where the moment's extra pretty. Like the people, like the idea that I keep inside my brain that isn't equal to the real world. All that stress ain't saving me fear though. I swear to God I'm trying But they pushing the demons down my esophagus Screaming the easy life, what I want all the ways Praise made up holidays, tell me that love is the answer Just to boost this economy Mine more sell now, but I ain't following I ain't a hollow man, I'm full of them fall winds Take it all with a tall crane, and if you feel it do it with me and just sing with the song. Say it all for what it is. What it is, what it is, what it is. It ain't all so big. So big, so big, so big. Take it all for what it is. It ain't all so big. Hello, hello, hello. This is Unsolicited, and I am Security Boss, and welcome to SB Nation. <laughs> hey, y'all. <laughs> listen, people be picking at me by my accent, but listen, I love it, so bear with me. <laughs> I can't help it. It's been this way for a lot of a long time. <laughs> but anyway, it's so good to see you guys. It is so good. We have a good but listen, that's good Friday. What we're gonna we have to figure out what we're gonna call Monday. Did I come up something? We're gonna have to say uh, what well, awesome Monday. This is awesome Monday, and it's so good to be here. And I hope you all are feeling the same way. It's Memorial Day, and I hope you all are definitely giving thanks to those who uh, are in service now and who serve for our country because you know that it's a big deal. It's a big deal to go out and serve for your country, y'all. So listen, if y'all haven't told someone that you appreciate them, please do. And this is the day that we recognize all that have lost their lives doing so. So make sure you do that. Also, I just want to say hello to a few people that are in the uh, chat over here. And also remember when you're coming into the live, make sure you give me the thumbs up. I appreciate that. And just in a moment, we're going to be bringing up my co-host, Black Man Unfiltered. Before we get there though, y'all know what we're going to be talking about tonight, but we're going we're gonna to talk about that. But I just want to say hello to a couple of people. Well, you know what? Before I do that, Black Man, you come on up. These are your people too. Come on up. Well, there you go. Well, <laughs> anyway, Black Man is not quite ready So I'm going to do the hello Stephen Day, it's so good to see you You always fam fave And mostly first one, Eugene Steele Thank you so much, Mr. Bryant It is so good to see you I hope y'all are having a fantastic day BCDC123, it's good to see you Mel, how you doing Mel? Mel, you watched any good movies lately? I saw one, I'm going to tell you about it But I can't tell you right now Black Man, hey Hey Shook, how are you today? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing sunshine, probably cloudy, you know. It's just good to see you today. I mean, you know, it's always good to see SB in the building. We got some a lot to talk about and catch up on, Shoe. I know. You know, I be had now. Sometimes I need a break. I know. That's right. <laughs> Big Cap, it is so good to see you. How you been? I ain't seen you in a couple of weeks, but I'm glad to see you. Glad that you're here. Alex Spencer. Hmm. Fabulous Monday. I like that. Okay, Black Man, this is what it is going to be. 
Fabulous Monday. It's Good Friday, and it's going to be Fabulous Monday. Fabulous Monday. I like that. I, like that. I appreciate that. I'm going I'm to hold on to that. I like that. And I'm glad you're here. Miss Walker, it's good to see you. Listen, happy Monday, Fabulous Monday, Fabulous Monday. But I appreciate it. Ine, hello. How are you? It's good to see all of you guys. Mandrell. Mandrell, I've been meaning to tell you that your sister is just taking all the attention. Don't worry about it. People will not forget you. But I'm sorry. Shoo, shoo. Shoo, shoo. You got it. You got it, buddy. But it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We still love you now. We still love you. It's me, C. How are you? It's good to see you, girl. Listen, <laughs> we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it soon. But anyway, it is so good to see all of you all. I'm glad that you're here. Uh, Jenny. Jenny, how are you? And we're going to have a good show tonight. And um, I just want to tell you all a little bit of things because I don't know what we uh, what have I not said. But first, let me go to this. Y'all know that the uh, SB gear is in. So y'all need to go over to the channel. Check out SB gear so y'all could be SB Nation five stars. Remember, remember five stars. If y'all ever see SB Nation on a shirt and they got but four stars, it's not me. It's a copy. They bootleg it. They bootleg it. They bootlegging SB already. Don't do it. I, I, what? No, you five star, y'all. If it ain't five star, it ain't SB Nation. Y'all know. So y'all. Your skin looks amazing. Oh, well, thank you. Y'all, let me tell y'all a story. Y'all, let me tell you something. I took my dad to the uh, doctor's office the other day. And y'all know when y'all go to the doctor's office still, they're making you wear these masks, right? Yeah. Y'all, I had to put on the mask. And when I tell y'all that mask broke my face, I've been having so many issues. I've been just doing like this. I, I can't. My husband said, will you please? I said, I can't. I can't. All of this just broke out. These little bumps just made me upset. I've been just scratching y'all, just scratching. So, but thank you anyway. Y'all may not be able to see it, but it's been, go I've been going crazy. These masks, man. Gosh, but anyway, this is something I go through, really nothing, but um, I was never here. Scam, you weren't here. Okay, we won't pay you no attention, brother. It's all right. You can be somebody else tonight. DP, you can be DP, whoever you want to be. Tisha, how you doing? So remember, y'all, if y'all see somebody with SP Nation and four stars, it wasn't me. I'm, I'm, I'm like, Scam, now I wasn't here. It wasn't me. Make Come sure you get those five stars, y'all. Go over to SB Gear. Check it out. Make sure you get it. I got some more gear coming in, so I'm be uh modeling a couple of other things that y'all could take a look at. So please, if y'all like to support SB Nation, just be a part of it. Please go get you a piece of something. Get your mug or something. And just when you're sipping your tea, think of us, right? Mm. Always remember the five stars and to elevate yourself because that's, that's what our motto is, elevation and the five star. So don't let nobody keep you from that. Um, what else there? Black man. Y'all. Oh, before we get started again, this coming Sunday, we will go back to uh, the standard standard will be at six o'clock, 6 p.m. Eastern time on Sunday and cheeky banter will be. Um, I got cheeky. Yeah, cheeky. Corey, how are you? I hadn't seen you in a while, but it's good to see you. Thank you for being here. Y'all listen, when you're coming into live, make sure you give me a thumbs up. I appreciate that. But uh Go ahead, black man. It's so much stuff going on. I just don't even know. Ugh. Yeah, so I just terrible yeah, stuff. I just want to say to uh, on a serious note, uh, yeah. you know, prayers out to those families um, that were a part of that gun violence uh, over the last few weeks in New York at the grocery store, um, and Texas. then again, yeah, and in Texas here in my state. Um, yep, yeah, it's 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 um, it's crazy. Um, so prayers out to them. Uh, I'm praying for. I, I don't know how it would feel to 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 be a um, a parent that lost your child to gun violence. So I can't say I know how you feel, but I'm just sending prayers and thoughts your way. Second, third, and fourth graders. This is just no explanation to what no, this what is, this evil. Very much so evil, and we need to know that. We need to know that there are good people. Listen. We have different races of people, right? Everybody understands that, and it's all we can see it crystal clear. Mm -hmm. But what we need to pay attention to is the good and the evil because it comes in all all colors. All right, right. y'all, don't forget that. Just because somebody did something bad, don't make them black. And because somebody did something bad, doesn't make them white. So you know, or Hispanic or what have you. It's good people, and there are evil people. And evil people did what happened this last couple of weeks. Yeah, it's horrible. It uh, is horrible. It is horrible. Listen, now, let me ask you a question. I'm hearing from afar, I need to tap into it, but I'm hearing that uh, our our good old president is getting rid of some student loan debt. Is this true? Oh, yes. Yeah, double side. Yeah, listen. Uh, 
<laughs> make sure you uh make sure you uh go get that take care of that now because Sally May finna be bankrupt in a minute. Uh Sally May what well, she's gonna be bankrupt, she's gonna get her money, she's just gonna, it ain't gonna be from you though. Uh, so Sally <laughs> May, you Sally know Sally May will not be bankrupt getting rid of ten thousand per person because they've done collected a hundred million. Yeah, that's why I'm gonna have to have to reback her soon. <laughs> Sally May got her money over the years. Woo. Uh, woo. But uh man, guys, please take advantage of that. Ah. That's, that's um, yeah, that's amazing. Come on now. Have we, have we signed it in yet? Or are we still talking about it? I, I've heard it's moved up. Can, can 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 it be overturned to this point? No. Ah. No. So wait a minute. Wait a minute. I just saw something. Somebody said only undergrads. Hey, yeah, you know that way that may be the stipulation. Hold on, I can tell you right here. I got the news pulled up. Right, you know, I always got to pull it Ooh, up. Yeah, let everybody know to look into this one. Uh, yeah, I think it's uh, it may be undergrads only. It may be. I didn't look at the stipulation. Normally, I, I read these um. I read more. I, listen to me. I sit here, uh, security boss, and I read all of these things that they pass, and I read every. Page. I didn't see undergrads, but I did see that there was a uh, financial um, cap on it. You can't make over three hundred thousand dollars as a couple, and you can't make over one hundred and fifty thousand dollars as an individual. But I didn't right. see the part about undergrad. But who knows? But anything. And while I'm looking this up, y'all know uh, Nancy Pelosi. Jesus Christ, Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi. What is uh, she husband got <laughs> charged with a DUI for running his Porsche into a store or something crazy. Oh, wow. Uh, uh, that's crazy. Get your husband right, girl. Get your husband right. He represent you right. Get him right. Um, let's see here. But yeah, yes, you, yeah. But anyway, and also, um, I want to talk about this whole DL Hughley and Monique into it. Why? You know, I don't know nothing about it, but I did see a little clip of something that said she went off on him, but I didn't yeah. see it. Yet. I just saw the title, but I didn't get a chance to get into it. Over some money, and he was her biggest supporter when she was going through what she was going through. Um, over some money, wow! Oh yeah, yeah, it was over some money. Um, they, I guess, the promoter of the um, comedy show that night didn't tell him who was the headliner and who was not, and that you know, headliner oh, wait, makes wait, more. Wait, wait a minute. So Monique and DL were confused on who the who was the headliner. Yeah, they both thought they were the headliner, so they're waiting to go to be the headliner. And then Monique goes out to be the headliner. He's sitting back like, whoa, whoa, wait, wait, I'm the headliner. So that gets they, they double booked them. Okay. That's crazy, right? Well, I mean, I kind of would have thought that DL would have been the headliner and it wouldn't have been a question, but I don't know. I guess I'm not, into that, I'm not into that, you know, atmosphere that much where I guess it would make a difference, but I wouldn't have not thought it wouldn't have been a question at all. It seemed like to me, the money should have been agreed upon before they even got there. So we might have to look into that a little bit more because that doesn't sound right at all. Right. It says here, De'Ara Hughley produced the receipts uh, and made Monique look like a fool. Absolutely. She yeah. yeah. <laughs> she restored the homophobic jokes to attack him. That's, that's what they do. Attack him and ended up being 100% wrong. She owes him and everyone an apology. She this didn't drop, she didn't drop on him, did she? She didn't drop on him, did she? <laughs> yeah. This is what happens when your spouse who has no experience becomes your manager. It was her husband's mistake, not DL's. Oh, gosh. Wow. Mm, mm, I didn't know that. I would think that she would know. Gosh, when, we ain't playing that position nowhere, are we? Mm -mm. Ah, listen, I'm get out of trouble. Listen, I'm done with that. You know, that's why I don't fool with people in the world because they just too much. <laughs> they don't give yeah. us good examples at all. But listen, on Friday, my show was about uh, what you prefer a traditional wife or a partner. Mm. pretty good show got a lot of interesting information some mm. men said they wanted a partner some said traditional all the way so Ooh. listen you had a great show friday you know i always go back and watch yours because i have a show on friday as well you'll be at work when i be on but i'll be seeing you back there but thank let you, me tell you let me tell you something we had a young lady come on i'm not gonna say her name because i have permission to use it but she came on into that barbershop mm. and she talked about her husband being a partner and that he's a partner and he's a partner and and, and when it comes to oh and this show tomorrow oh, oops, she'll be on there but uh because tomorrow we're talking about different levels of femininity are there different forms and, and is there an on and off switch right? so she'll, <laughs> so she'll be there for that one however she came in and the men told her your husband is your leader she doesn't believe in that I believe that we both are leaders I think that we're partners I think this is 50 50. it don't get it's not gonna go over that I don't look at my husband as a leader. He's my partner, right? Now watch this. Sir Hill Speaks said, well, if someone breaks in your house, who's getting out the bed first? 
in the middle of the night. She said, he is. He said, that's your leader. Respect him as such. You know what? She when said, I hear, I, when, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, no. no she said, I don't believe. She, and she said, no, we don't believe. Me and my husband don't believe in that. I, you know, he, I, I'm, I'm, I don't believe in him being a leader and he don't believe, you know, I believe in him being my partner and that's it. You know, and then, you know, Mandra had to come up the rear where you get up and fight the person that break in the house then. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to throw some wrenches in there because just because she said it, it you, I bet if you would have talked to her husband, he wouldn't have agreed with that. That's what they kept telling her. He was there and they he said, was? put him on, put him on, put him on. She was like, no, I don't have to put him on. I can speak for myself. This is what we agreed upon. Now I know her husband. Cause I've been on the panel with them before and he's all for the feminist movement. What the equality part of it? All of it. Uh, I mean, but what does it, I mean, I, I, the women, the, the women, you don't need to be bullying. I mean, I'm sorry. Women don't need to have a man over them to my day leader and all this other stuff. And, you know, I mean, it, it, he's, he's a part of um, like supporting it basically. Uh, so he's a model. I, I talk with him though, to, to be sure. Cause I don't want to allow him to man. Right. But I think he does yeah. support his wife in that venture though. Well, you know what? Sometimes um, long-term relationships and marriages may look more like partnerships as you go along, but that doesn't mean that the man is not making a final decision. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Right. So wait to wait to hear from him because you know she is because it could be a bully on each end. You know, because mm -hmm. that that kind of sounds bullyish a little bit right there. But you know, sometimes women get crazy about these the terms um, that that we use. You know, far as um, leadership and being right. submissive they get all you know they get all out of shape for it you know they'll fall in line with the active uh being an active participant but as soon as you label what they're doing they go crazy because even when uh was chaotic is crazy so chaotic said if your hands are right for a mop they get offended by that no they mop the floor right <laughs> so it's like it's a joke y'all can't y'all laugh can't y'all smile right. you know don't, don't get so out of shape but hey, well, anyway and before we move forward, because I promise you, I will give you this information um, about the student loan debt. I do have it right here. Okay. Uh, it says, um, let me go back up just a little bit. It said the White House latest plans call for a limited debt forgiveness. Americans who earn less than $150,000, mm -hmm. uh, no more than $300,000 for married couples filing jointly. Two of the, uh, okay, it's unclear. Da, 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 da. Okay, here is the important part. Wiping out $10,000 with the debt per borrower can... Uh, could cost roughly $230 billion. They said they considered making it only undergraduate, but was convinced to do otherwise because so many people were not undergraduates. Absolutely. So it's going to be for everybody Got instead it. of the undergraduate. Yeah. All right. So Jenny, I don't know, girl, but listen, sound good to me. Mm -hmm. He promised to do this when he got in the office. So I guess he's just fulfilling his promise. But that $50,000 thing was out of out of reach out of touch and the two million you know what how much have they sent over over what three trillion how many have we spent over the two years with COVID? more than that haven't it been absolutely several trillion yep. so anyway getting back to it so um mel just said too there are several men that allow their wives to lead i you know what i have to uh i mean i hear what y'all saying but I, I need to see that in 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 play itself out what Dwayne wade and and um Right. Her. Because I, so I, is that meaning that she he does whatever she says and he doesn't have he doesn't say anything? Is that exactly. what you're trying to get me to believe? Exactly. Dwayne Wade said he's not built to lead. Uh, and so his wife leads him and the children. D Dwayne Wade said that. Oh, yeah. Oh, let me see. I'm going to see the link. <laughs> he said he wasn't built to lead. <laughs> OK, well, then he definitely needs someone to lead him. Then <laughs> yep. he said something. He said we need to me need to come to the realization and understand that all of us are not born to lead, but we, but we need to have women to lead us. So that means that person probably shouldn't be a husband. Exactly. Nor, nor a dad, yep. you know, well, well, we see where okay. that's going, but yeah, 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 I do. But you know what? I'm, I'm beginning to see a little difference and it a little different. But before I say that Friday was, do you want traditional wife or a partner? And so, you know, it was divided. You know, some said it's, it's kind of hard to have a traditional wife in these times. And, um, mm -hmm. You know, it kind of looks like a partnership and others was like traditional all the way, you know, what have you. And then so that brings me to today when we're asking the question, can you value a traditional woman? Do we even know what that looks like, y'all? Because for me, well, first, we need to probably define it. So so black man, you and I need to define what I want to hear what you think a traditional wife is. And I'm going to tell you what I think it is, um, because it may not mean 
you may have something to add to what I say or vice versa. Or you might say, no, no, security boss, that's not it. But for me, when I say a traditional wife, I'm saying a woman that is a part of a marriage where the husband leads, she's submissive. They have children in a nuclear family. It's a marriage. That is traditional. Now, within that, the husband makes the final decision, but he also has a plan and sets a plan on how he would like to run his household. Now, that doesn't mean the wife doesn't work. If he needs for her to work, then she works. Whatever he needs her to do, she does. She You're yeah. right. And it does not mean she doesn't make decisions. She does. But it's all under the program that the husband has set forth. Now, it also means, too, that the husband is humble enough. Traditionally, the husband's humble enough to say, look, I don't know how to do this. You got it. And then he what delegates these things to his wife. That's all traditional to me. Yeah. It, ain't, it has nothing to do with nothing else. It doesn't mean mm -hmm. that cook clean, who cooks and clean, whatever. The person that cooks and cleans is the one that the husband has delegated to do so because he might be a chef. Yep. It doesn't make him a less of a man or their marriage less traditional because he decided to do that or vice versa. However you want to do it. I'm yep. just saying I don't for me, traditional is not all about the roles that people have. It's the concept of being traditional husband, wife, kids, nuclear family, having children in that particular um, confounds of that marriage. That's what traditional is to me. Yeah. So me, what would you say? I think, I think um, people know, people know <laughs> what traditional is and I'm going to be straightforward. You being, you, you being too nice on them today. I'm being nice. Okay. Oh yeah. They, they know what, they know what it is. They know what a traditional woman is. It's about pride. Oh, Pride keeps you from being traditional, and this is what it is. I'm not going to, um, I I ain't going to take my man boots off today. He take his own boots off. I ain't submitting no money, like you said, uh, security boss. You got your money. You brought it to to, to Mr. Boss, right? What, what woman you know is gonna go to her husband and say, "Here got my money, baby. Um, you go ahead and make the decisions for this family. You're the leader." It, 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 it's about pride. If the women know what it is. They know the recipe, but it's about pride. I am not giving over my money. But when you need something, when you need something, come on, huh? listen to me. Let me tell. Ooh, I'm gonna tell you something, security boss. My brother, his wife is horrible. If you're watching, you know you're horrible. And my brother, one of my brothers, because I have five of them. One of my brother's wives are horrible. I ain't gonna say which one it is, but she knows who she is because we don't fool with them. And she, uh, and. She tells him, you ain't this, you ain't this, you ain't, uh, I'm, I'm sick of you. You get on my nerves. Really and truly, I don't need you here. You, I, you're you not a necessity. You just a want, right? The, the, the water main broke at their house. The husband was outside mowing the yard. Baby, come here, come here. Oh my God, water's everywhere. What, what do I do? What do I do? I don't know. Water's flooding the house. He told her, wait a minute. You sure you need a man? You don't got it. She said, stop playing water going everywhere. He just went behind the toilet and turned the water off. You don't even know how he, and I told him, I said, boy, you go tell her right now. You don't even know how to turn the water off on a toilet, but you say you don't need a man. Baby, get up out of here. Mm. Find you something to do with your life. You don't, you don't even know how to turn the water, man, the water off from the toilet from flooding your house. What if he was at work and he, and he works an hour away? What would you have done? The house would have been under a puddle of water. But let me ask you a question, though. Let me ask you a question. Um, that's been going on. Rebellious women or women who have not um, conceded to their husbands have been around for a very long time. That's not a that's not what I would call a modern day thing. What were, what were you calling them back then? Um, I, I call them Big Mama or, you know, mean Big as mama. hell. You know, you, you know, Big Mama ran Leroy, right? Yep, and Leroy was a husband, but Leroy didn't get to you know, he didn't get to call too many shots. Right. You throw ass in here, Leroy. Yeah, that one. You know, yeah. the, the voice deeper than our husbands. Right. So what did we call that woman then? Because that surely wasn't traditional, but I wouldn't say that she was modern, would you? I mean, what what was that? When Louisiana, you know, I'm gonna give y'all a new, I'm gonna I'm gonna give y'all a new name here. In Louisiana, we call them stud muffins. Cause they was because they were strong enough to be a man, but feminine enough to be soft as a muffin. So, so my so we call them stud muffins. They were half and half. They act like a man when they bully their husbands. They act like a woman when they wanted something. Okay, so that was still a wife, right? Yeah, that's what they was. Right. So now we have the okay. So now when we're talking about modern women, are they lining more up with the stud muffin or the traditional woman? 
stud muffin. Okay, but we just decided now to call them modern women. Yep. The stud muffin of, of then is the modern woman today. So you're saying that modern women today don't want to do what? What's keeping them from being traditional? Uh, you said pride, but I want I want you to tell me what pride looks like played out because I really need to know, can a man value a traditional woman? Because I just told you what a traditional woman is. I, mm -hmm. I, I laid out what it is for me. You kind of agreed. I think you agreed, right? I, I agree with you. Yeah. Okay. So with me doing that, that puts a lot of responsibility on the man because that means he has to have his hands in everything. Everything. Everything, just about, you know, until, until, he de until he delegates it, he has right, to have There you go. I was going to say, you took it right out of my head. Good, good, good. Yeah, right. until he delegates it. Right. Until he delegates it. And also, <laughs> let's not play around with it. Typically, you don't come into a marriage like that. Right. It, it takes some foundation building and becoming one and being on one accord to accomplish that, right? Right. It's like running a farm. Like when I was growing up, my grandfather, as him, me being his grandson, as a child, my grandfather would delegate things. All right. And my grandfather couldn't read, but he can count money. And so I remember my grandmother would get up every morning and read the paper to him every day. Right. But but he would delegate what he wanted. So he would get up in the morning and say, clean me. That's my grandmother's name. It's so rare. Clean me. I need you to do this, this and then my grandma be like, OK, I got you. Mm -hmm. And then he'd be like, you, I need you to go over here and do this. You gonna go out here with me today and help me pull the hay. He would delegate all the chores and everything that needed to be done because he used to have a saying more hands make light work. Right. And so he used to delegate things to us and we can get it done quicker instead of him having to do all of it and be out there all day. Okay. So delegation is a beautiful thing. I think that I mean, well, I'm gonna let you finish. And I'll put mine in a minute. Go ahead. No, no, I, I, I'm with you with that. Cause I'm just wondering right now, because I'm saying to, I'm saying to our men, don't allow a woman to keep you from being that traditional man, because you say you want that woman. We need to figure out how to put value there so you can have what you want. And I can't see how a woman can take me off my square could take you all off your square from being that because there's value in having that traditional woman. If you're that man. Mm. And, so and how, really are, are we, are we, are we being those men? Are we putting forth that, that, uh, what we want to call it, that energy that would, um, equal or that would bring us forth this traditional woman. Cause like I said, my husband, it, Clemmy, he delegated to Clemmy what needed to be done. Why do you think she did it? Because, she, well, I've asked her. She right. said she, lo she loves him. And she said when she married him, she didn't she didn't marry him to give him orders. She married him to follow his orders, to so follow wanted, his vision. She wanted so to be a wife. I want to get I want to get her on my show so bad. She won't do it. She won't do it. Hold on but, for a minute, Black, black Man. Let's do uh, this super chat. Uh, Sir Hale, thank you so much for your $9.99 chat. And I uh, thank you so much for getting the show started. You get the money line. <laughs> Give me mine. Money line. I'm a run it every time. Give me mine. Going up, me no decline. Yeah, yeah. Now, we will say this, uh, security boss. Jenny uh, Moreno put something in the chat. We missed all that. Now, listen, she says, sorry, Black Man Unfiltered Network. I don't believe in pride. She said, I cut my husband's nails. I cook his meals. I, uh, I balance the books and he doesn't leave, uh, leave this house undrained. <laughs> Janie, you said it all. Girl. Come on, Jenny. <laughs> We're not talking about you. <laughs> Jenny. Come on, Jenny. Jenny uh, threw the mic, she threw the mic across the room and said, you got that? I Listen, this is what we're talking about. And listen, I read this to Hey, how are you? She says a traditional woman desires to be under leadership and mission of her husband that's what we're trying to say i'm trying to figure out now are the men right now because a lot of men on friday told me they want partners and i just well we came in with a young lady saying that her and her husband don't agree to be 50 50. so even though there were some that said they want traditional wives i'm just wondering do we understand how heavy that is to be a traditional husband and is that what we want i mean is that what you're saying or you just want the woman to be traditional right i don't understand how I don't understand, and this is going to be a shot, but I don't care. Get ready with the gun. Get ready. Get ready with the gun sound effect, uh, uh, boss, uh, Mr. Boss. I don't understand how the animal kingdom can be obedient to submission, but human beings cannot. Now, I was watching, and you know, my son, he just loves National Geographic. I was watching, and the lions would sit there, the men would sit there, and they would defend their wives from the hyenas, 
<laughs> they would cover their wives from any type of violent behavior, the cubs from any type of violent behavior. They're the king of the jungle. And the women would say, you know what? To, to, to support you and to be here for you, I'm going to make sure I, I cook a meal for you today. And guess what the lioness does? The lioness get with the other lioness wives and say, guess what? Our men are hungry. Let's feed them. They go out and the women hunt. You've never seen a male lion hunt. The women go out and hunt for the food and they drag. They don't eat it. They drag it back to the men. The men eat and then the women eat. So guess what? So guess what you just said? So listen, that's, that, that is a very masculine thing to do, right? That was a very masculine thing. But that, that was a lioness. But you're talking about the virtuous woman also. She also goes out and get the food and does everything and bring it back. Also, so listen, I do think we kind of lose it when we say that women... Uh, that the paint, picture is painted that a traditional woman doesn't do much. I don't. I don't agree with that at all. I do, I do everything, That's and my husband has, love it. has taught me most things. Now, do I do all these things on a regular basis? Absolutely not. But I'm not going to be standing up looking like a fool, not knowing what to do. Exactly. Um, but I still feel I'm a, in a traditional marriage. So that still brings me to it. I'm trying to figure out. We're trying to understand traditional traditional woman. Can a man do? Is they all say they want it, black man. But I'm seeing now we're mostly living in a tradition in a, a modern time where I even heard somebody say today, listen to this. Um, we're not we not we can't do what they did in the 50s. We can't do what they did in the 60s. We can't do what they did in the 70s. Now, to me, for me, all of that worked. It was working as far as the nuclear family go. All that worked for me. Right. So I'm wondering now, what exactly are we altering? If we're not altering traditional roles or marriage, what are we altering? What are we accepting in 2022 if it's not the role of man and woman? What are we what are we altering? What 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 can we not go back and use for an example? We want the women today, right? Not all, but some, they want their husbands to be their best friends. They want their husbands to have the same femininity as they do. They want to be able to sit down and have long conversations about their girlfriends. They want to be able to um um, they want the man to be a little bit under them. Um, and that's what's happening today. I think also uh, the world, how, how it has changed now, how you were humble, uh, security boss, when you and your husband got married and you came, brought the money to your husband and say, this is the money delegated as you, as you please. The women today say, if I make more than you, I'm over you. I'm looking down on you. You must do what I say. Stud muffin, modern woman. And so what we're doing right now is... Um, the women have enough pride to say, if "You listen, you. I'm making ten thousand dollars a year more than you. You're not going to tell me to bring no money to you, and you delegate anything." So, are you saying our men are adjusting to the women? The ooh, Lord. that's what I heard you say because I'm I'm telling you what worked in the fifties, the sixties, the seventies, the eighties. I got married in the nineties. I I made six figures for many years and I brought it home. So if that's not what's working and I never once wanted to come home and tell my husband, Oh, I'm making six figures now, buddy. Uh, what I say, go, I never felt the need to do that. I never felt like that because I still felt like he was a man. So what are we leaving behind and what are we sacrificing for 2022 that is something that's very valuable. It's got to be because now what you're saying is do, because the women are telling us, they're doing this now. They're going to allow you to lead them if you want to do so. You, yeah. they, 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 now, now you're asking permission to be the man. Uh uh. And, and and you know what? If you just see what Jenny just put in the chat, uh, yeah. go back up a few for Jenny. Jenny has put that in the chat because I put this new saying out there and everybody's using it. So Jenny, I want to share it with you today, security boss. Okay. Um, Jenny put the the number the the musical signs with the buckets and the uh. <laughs> Oh, I heard you. The Home Depot buckets. You yeah. get plenty of this, but you won't get. Listen, I, I'm I'm trying to figure this out because uh, I happen to think the years the years prior to this is what actually worked. Um, yeah. It was the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, whatever it was. Yeah. If that was what had the man in place and it had the woman in place. Also, why can't we learn from that? What is it now that we have to pick up on and alter our life for? So we can get to continue to, to get along. I don't understand that. I mean, because a man is still a man and a woman is still a woman. If she has six figures and she makes more than you, then that's not the woman you want to be with. It's OK. Yeah. And what I wanted and what I, the modern I think today, I think if women and I'm going to challenge you today is the 30th. Tomorrow is the 31st. I want to challenge every woman out there and man to do this. 
because men are conforming, but I will talk about that in a second. I think for 30 days in June, in the month of June, women, I want you to relinquish all control over your man for 30 days. And I want you to let your man, I want you to let your man lead that, that God has put him in, in the leadership to do. I want you to let him lead. If you're working, I want you to bring the money to one pot. And I want you to let that man run that house. And, I, and, and the first thing that's going to happen is you're going to see a change in your man. You're going to see a change in the way he moves. You see a change in the way he speaks to you. He's going to see a change in the way he runs the house. He's not going to be so stressed out. He's not going to be walking on eggshells. He's just going to be that man that you need him to be. He's going to control the children. He's going to make sure the children where they need to be. He's going to be all of it instant, instantly. He's going to become what he's been suppressing. And so... Oh. Y'all gonna get mad at me. I'm gonna tell you, you're gonna get real mad at me. And y'all listen, I don't want to hear about it either. But don't tell don't say security boss did it. Just say this old crazy lady told y'all to do this. All oh, men, if your woman is being honorary and not allow you in not allowing you to lead her or she's not being submissive to you for the next 30 days, tune her ass out. <laughs> y'all didn't get it from me though. I don't know who said that. I, I don't know where it came from. <laughs> It wasn't me. It was not me. Tune her ass out. That's what you do. Go to work. Come home. Yeah. Go to your man cave. Go to a different spot. Go wherever you got to go. Take your power back. What is wrong? I this is something I don't understand what's going on. I mean, what you just said to me uh, before black man was crazy. Let your husband. What are y'all talking about? Yeah. I need the men to be men. I need men to be men. And it ain't got nothing to do with the woman. Has nothing to do with her. And if she. 30 days, go to work, you come home. If you got to stop and get you, go to the soul food restaurant and get yourself something to eat on the way home, you go home and you go on and yeah. I ain't tell you you leave. I, nobody told you to leave your wife now. Don't be don't pull out no oh, nasty rumors. Yeah, don't be putting out no nasty rumors about me. And actually, you didn't even hear it from me. I don't know who this person is talking right now. But men, for the next 30 days, if your woman is not treating you like a leader, but make sure you acting like one now. Make sure you put the time in. No, I ain't talking okay. about no. I ain't talking about no, you know, I'm talking about a real guy that that, that deserves. Actually, I'm, I'm, we're going to get one better. I want y'all to have the conversation, the conversation before you assert your leadership. Have the conversation and say, you know what, babe? This is not how I am pictured. This is not how I envisioned this. I'm the leader of this household. I make good decisions. I do everything I'm supposed to. You, you a good wife, but but something is not right. I'm feeling out of order. Whatever, whatever. Y'all had a conversation. You get to the end of it. If she hears you, you continue on with your journey. If she doesn't hear you for the next 30 days, you tune her ass out. Yep, and guess what? And we're it, so wasn't me. it wasn't me that said it. I'm done. I don't know who it was now. Okay. Yeah, and black men, and like this, like this. Uh, uh, let, me, let me do a super chat for you real quick, sir. Security bar. Javaris Lee, thank you so much for your $9.99 cent super chat. Thank you so thank much. You uh, make sure you t uh, get the 9 dollars today. Make sure you go over with your debit card over to the to the five star <laughs> Nation store and, and go over and buy you something over there. She got stuff with shirts and hats and, you know, she got all mugs. Get, go over and get you something to drink out of. You want to be a five star in the morning when you get up and go to your job. Drink out the cup, coffee cup. But anyway, Javaris Lee says, I don't think a lot of men understand what it takes to be head of household they don't have a vision a plan for the light for the life uh they want a woman to follow their leadership now javaris i want to talk to you uh, sir the reason that some men are in this position is because they're suppressing their leadership god created men to lead it is in a man to be a leader whether he wants to be or not, it's in there. Whether he chooses to be one or not, it's in it's inside of him to be a leader. So when a man is not being a leader, he is suppressing his leadership to please the woman in his life. We're, we're asking for the next 30 days is that we take take back our nuts, our cojones. We take them back and we become a better man. We become a better man for 30 days. We say, listen, wife. For 30 days, we're not going to argue. For 30 days, I'm going to tune your ass out if you come in here with some stupid stuff. For 30 days, I'm going to take care of these kids. I'm going to take care of you. You're going to bring the money to one pot, and we're going to watch God change our marriage. Or if you don't believe in God, we're going to watch everything change because you're now you're giving me what it is that God is giving me to be a leader. Come on. I'm, I'm Listen, I'm, I'm here for it today. Now, black man said that. I'm going to for you, Javaris. This to take back. This to take back your nuts dance. June is gonna be the take back month. Take it back. 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 Uh oh. Oh. Men need to reclaim their oops. Hink. <laughs> Listen, Big Cap. That was not me. 
It wasn't me. That was a black man. Come so on. I am not breaking up happy homes. But listen, no, seriously, y'all. I'm still going to say what I have to say. Listen, I, seriously, I need y'all to seriously, men, men, y'all need to have these conversations. Y'all, listen, Kevin Samuel said it for the last 20 or 30 years, men have been really showing up. And I feel like you have. There is uh, the rate of single families of men not being involved in the kid's life and being married. You know, all that's changing. And you all are showing up because it was a time when men didn't talk, wasn't there and all of that. I agree. But guess what, guys? I need y'all to show up some more, especially, especially if your woman is leading or has taken your leadership. Now, now, if y'all are happy with the situation, I'm happy for you. But if you own YouTube and you're complaining about what your woman allow you to do or what the woman you thinking about marriage is allowing you to do, I need for you to do what black man told y'all to do just a little bit ago. Y'all heard him. Right. And, then, and then, you know, uh, here we go. Happy wife, happy life. No, that's a simp saying. We look at, listen to me. I'm, I'm upset today. Wait, wait a minute. Hold on. What, what happy? Yes. Oh, I see it. I see happy it. I see wife, it. Happy life. No, 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 no. We're not doing happy life, happy wife no more. We're doing happy house, happy spouse. Because, because what needs to happen is both people need to have some type of civility. Both people need to have some type of break and relaxation. The other night, Mr. Bennett was on the barbershop and that man shut that place down. I should have shut the show down. After that man preached that sermon, he said, my wife allows me to be the man that I am with her and without her. I can go in the room and watch a boxing match. I can come get on YouTube for five hours with you guys. And she don't say nothing to me because when it's time for us to come together, she's going to get the best of me. But listen, that's a different allow now. That's not the allow as in being leader. She, she lets him lead by doing what it is he wants to do because he is the leader. So y'all catch that now. But Javaris. Javaris Lee, thank you so much for your nine dollar nine cents, ninety nine cents super chat. He says a lot of women either want a traditional man while they get to be a modern woman, yes. or they want a partnership, but she still wants a man to take care of her. Listen, I'm all about a man taking care of a woman, but you know what, Javaris, you get the mainline song, and I got Money something to add to this. Me mine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, said, but he didn't say that but who didn't say that black man black man did say he just said the same thing i said if that's what you're talking about i have no clue but listen i want to say this also getting back to the men wanting traditional women i asked my husband we had these conversations i asked the man in my life let me just say it like that are men still into opening doors ordering your food mm -hmm. things of that nature men still do that do men understand that that's a part of about of being a traditional husband do men still understand that comes with it yeah cleaning your car and putting gas in it yeah. thinking for me on a monday or on a sunday getting me ready for that month that week do they okay so they are still doing that uh -huh, yeah but let me tell you what a lot of women out here that are with their home girls and they're saying my man ain't nothing he don't open no door for me girl he don't do nothing. I come home, girl. I can't get a damn massage. You know why? Because he's suppressing his manhood for you. You're trying to be the leader. 30 days, ladies and gentlemen. Wait, 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 no. Why is he suppressing his manhood for her? What does she do? What, what, what? He's suppressing his manhood because she's giving him the insight this. She's making this man believe that you're nothing without me. And I'll mess this whole family up, right? Because okay, someone wait, a minute, that... wait a minute, wait a minute, wait oh, yeah. a minute. Because, okay, but what, 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 not the man off of his, his square though. Can, yeah. can't, oh man, can't nobody come in here and tell me what I'm not. So how did he get knocked off his square so easily? What happened? There's, there's something about the character. Kevin Samuel will say this. Okay. There's something about the voice of a woman. You oh. can go out. You can go out into the public and people can tell you how great you are. Oh my God, you're great. You're great. You can get home and your wife can tell you you ain't shit one time and ruin your entire day. Listen. There's something about the voice of that woman in that household speaking to that man. And we got more of that security boss now than we do of women like yourself. We got women that will tell a man more of what he's not. And that man conforms. That's conformity. That's what I was just talking about for me. So I didn't get into conformity when a man conforms and say, no, you know, she makes him believe I can't do better. You know, I might as well just put up with what I'm getting. So you, 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 you're scaring me now because hold that thought. No, I'm gonna say it before I forget. You're scaring me now because what you're saying is our men are just accepting a whole lot of different stuff here and there. I do this, I do that. Excuse me. 
So can they really value a traditional woman or will they see that as a weakness or they see it as uh, not a challenge? I don't know. Would they not just value what is going on because they've been accepting so much different? Yeah. Behavior? And, and I, yeah, because, OK, let me give you an example. Last night I had a conversation with my sister uh, from another mister last night and we were talking about she said, uh, which I love her to death. She said. Um, women, men are babysitting their wives. And men shouldn't be watching their wives, and men shouldn't be uh, get little, need to know every move their wife make. If their yeah. wife, uh, if a, if a wife has a lot of male friends and she wants to go out with her male friends, she should be able to do that. If she want to say, "I'm gonna go out a weekend and go out here with the male guys," she should be able to do that. A man, if if she said, if a man is confident in in his wife, it shouldn't matter if she want to go out for a weekend with the fellas. So listen, uh, black man, Emil say, black man, stop it. Men are not listening to women like that. They can care less what we say. Ooh. You know why they can care less? You no, I they, don't. The reason <laughs> to tell you why, Miss Mills, I'm glad you're here today. Thank you. Hit that subscribe. I mean, hit that like button. I know you subscribe. Hit that like button and go to the SB Nation and Five Star Store and support this black woman right now. Support. Y'all need to support each other. The sisterhood need to change. Sisterhood need to be supporting, not... Okay, be careful when, you, when you're talking about that over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But be anyway... Careful. The reason men are listening, S. Mills, you know why they're not, you know why they won't listen? Men, you know, the, the same thing security boss just said to do for 30 days. They're tuning your ass out. You know the why they're tuning your ass out? Because no, they, I'm not, I'm not going to give you that one. Black man, I'm not giving you that because, because you're saying that everybody getting to, listen, this is what we're going to do. I'm not letting you blame everything. No, I'm not going to do it. I'm just, not, no, I'm not saying that. Right if a man That's, is in a household okay. with a woman and a okay. woman is not submitting to his vision and all she's talking about is her, 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 her. Not all women, but some. Her, her, her. He's going to tune her out because he's not getting reciprocated anything. Well, then what we're talking about ain't going to work for him anyway. He needs to put out that plan. Has he done that? Remember, I said this is not for everybody. A lot of times people, every man I know, listen to mm -hmm. Kevin Samuels like they were six figures, like they right. were high value, high mm -hmm. earners. And a lot of them knew that that didn't apply to them, but they thought it did. And, right. and they, they, they thought their sexual market value was a 10 and all that stuff. And he wasn't talking mm -hmm. to everybody. Right. So I need y'all to listen with some sober ears. I'm talking to the men who have put in the work, who have the plan, who have went to their wives and said, babe, this is what we need to do because I can see us being in a different place. And they have worked through those issues or whatever it is that this man has said what needs to happen if he wants a traditional family wife household. Now, right. if he doesn't want that, then okay. Right. If y'all have done that, men, if you have done that and you still haven't gotten what you want, damn, yeah, 30 days. Give her 30 days to think about it. I agree with that. Totally. Now, she also has the right to come and say to you what needs to happen or where's the lack right. of trust mm -hmm. or what am I missing or how did I miss it, babe, whatever. There needs to be some conversations is what I'm saying. I'm tired of y'all walking around and not getting what it is you want out of your marriage or out of these women. When I know that women only want to be taken care of. Now, y'all keep telling me they don't, but I have to think women want to be taken care of. Now, is it making men really, really have to have to, have to look at themselves two or three times? Yes, it is. And I don't agree with all of it because some of it may be out of order, but it's up to you all men. Men don't allow this to happen. 30 days. But let's read this super chat. Eugene Steele, thank you so much for your $10 super chat. He says, up, up to my college years, I was rejected and lonely. After those years, I finally was in a relationship clueless about what my role was as a man. Various content creators made me understand. Absolutely. Now, me see, I don't, I don't see it hard, but I'm not a man. Black man, you got mm -hmm. to help me with this. Mm -hmm. For a man to figure out what his role is and to stand on his square. It doesn't have to be controlling. It doesn't have to be demanding. It could just be, I'm a man. Right. That's and it. Every, and every man should be allowed to go to the, every, like, oh, that's amazing that for our education and for our, our, our jobs moving forward, we all had to go to elementary school, middle school, and high school. We had to go through those growth spurts to understand what it was going to be like to go to college. Then we go to college, then we get out of college. We have to go four years or five years or how many, many years to do college to become who we are successfully, right? For some people, we go through all those years of growing into our success. Why can't we take those years to grow into our, our manhood and our woman and our womanhood? 
It, 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 it's amazing to me that men are expected at 18 years old to, to make six figures, 24 years old. You, you're expecting this man to have everything together. Like Who's, doing just, Who's doing that? Where's Who? that expectation? Who, hold that thought. Let's give yeah. uh, Gene Song his money line. So you know he like the money line. Give me mine. Money line. Give me mine. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, black man, I'm gonna have to disagree with you because, um, oh, let's just say this. It is 18 years old. If some woman or anybody had an expectation on you to have six figures, then you should be again on your square, solid enough to say, you know what? I'm not there and it's okay. <laughs> I'm going to be right here where I'm at and I'm going to move where the way I need to move. I, I don't, I don't see that that would be something I'm, I wouldn't allow. Why would you all allow somebody to put that type of pressure on you as young people to say, this is what you need to be doing. This is what you need to be doing. Where, where is that balance that says, no, I don't need to be doing you. Right. Well, well, yeah, yeah, influence. influence from who? Well, well no, what I'm saying for me and for me and, I, yeah. I, and, and, and when me and you come out of college, you just you starting your career. Right. I think that and for our sisters, because they're misled, and I'm not talking, I want to talk bad about the sisters. They're misled when they're hearing in the songs, they hear it in the talk shows, they hear it from their girlfriends. Girl, uh, you, you know, imagine a woman going up to a, her girlfriend and saying, Girl, I met this guy. He black, his name is uh, Black Man on Field. He's uh, 19, 23 years old. He just finished college. Girl, he got any money. Girl, where y'all staying at? Are, are he in a one bedroom apartment? <laughs> and we had women on Sir Hill Speaks talk about this yesterday about women that do that. Girl, here in a one bedroom apartment. Girl, that is just not reasonable. That is not even right. a reasonable thought. Okay, but what I'm saying, black man, when you hear people, women, and women are indeed saying this and they're making those type of requests, those are women that don't know any better and they nope. need to live a little bit more life alone or doing whatever they want to do because that man shouldn't be affected by that's not even a is that a fair expectation of a man that's getting out of high school to have six figures? Uh, is out that even for sure? Uh, oh, well, a okay. woman want to be taken care of. She want to. She want to be able to brag. Girl, my man worked for a uh, SB Nation five star girl. They pay him hundred thousand dollars a year. Uh, they want to be able to have that to say to their home girl. Girl, my man just bought me this diamond bracelet. Look, mm -hmm. my okay, grand, so, my so if the man if the man went for that, he definitely wasn't looking for a traditional woman. He didn't see the value in a traditional woman mm. because um yeah, not, he, he would have never because a traditional woman would have not. I mean, I don't know. The, the conversation wouldn't have looked that way. And it also wouldn't have been about what he was doing as far as him being six figures. You know what I'm yep, saying? In BCDC123 right. in the comments said, I heard the six figure argument in real life before I even heard it on YouTube and even in a song. Mm, let's do this right here. Javaris, Lee, thank you so much for your $9.99 super chat. I've learned to be the best version of myself and move how a man should. And that's with purpose. Absolutely. Absolutely. I don't understand how. Anyway. I stand on my square. Yes. A lot of men are afraid to lose that. Oh, uh, meow, 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 meow. Is that what it is? I told you. Is I that told, what it is? I told you. They conform. They conform. They conform. And they put they, they tuck their nuts under and they conform to the women. And they say, you know what? I can't do better. I'm going to stick here and just deal with all this bull. Well, then what, what are we talking about then? Let's let's get Javari's the mainline song then. Hello. <laughs> Um, AJ says, stop the cap. Traditional women are hypergamous. Uh, I just lost it. Not traditional women. For, to, to a degree. But see, see, you, you, you're seeing it incorrectly. A man is finding a wife. He's finding a wife that he takes care of. She just wants a man that's going to take care of her. What he says she's supposed to do is what she's supposed to do. So that really doesn't matter when you're talking about traditional. You know, because a man is finding a wife. And if he's finding a traditional wife, she's not looking at him having to be six figures. I promise you it's not. And, and then, too, just to talk, AJ, let's go back. Let's let's talk about this, because, again, remember, we said we're not doing because we, we ain't taking from the 50s, the 60s, the 70s, the 80s and 90s. We're here in the 2000s. So if a woman is trying to be hypergamous, then in the 2000s, she's saying, what is she saying? She's really saying she don't need you. 
And well, I'm not going to say that. Let's, let's take that back. She's not saying she doesn't need you. She's saying I'm not being traditional. So that would mean that you're probably not going to be able to be traditional either. So we need to stop playing y'all. We need to stop playing because, uh, a traditional woman, I, I, listen, I'm the best example of a traditional woman. Like we said earlier, I don't know if you were here, AJ, but um, I made six figures many years. I brought it right home and put it in one pot. See, I'm the one, I'm the one pot girl. I don't mind that because I knew I was going to be taken care of. I trusted my man. Now we do, we, we might have some issues. Uh, Corey said earlier, it's been 50 years of feminist, of uh, the feminist movement and men don't trust women. I agree with that. I see where that could be off a little. And I see where women may have trouble trusting men. Um, I don't know how deep this goes or how far it goes because, I mean, how much money are you losing? You know, how much money? If you put it in one pot, what are you? What's the loss? I don't know how much of a loss that can be. I wasn't afraid to put mine in one pot. I always felt when I felt like when I put it in one pot, I had more because I had access to it also. So that was just my thinking. Others might have a different way of thinking. You know, if they got their rainy day money or whatever, hey. You know, make it make sense. Yep. It works for me, but that is not so called. That's not that. That's a that may be a form of tradition. It could work for you, could not. But if I ever found out that my husband had a, another set over there, I would be quite upset that he put right. something. You know, I would be upset that my husband was putting something to the side. So you know, whatever yeah, y'all I mean, agree, agree on. Right today, what it is, somebody put it in the chat. But today, I think women want to be modern women with traditional men. Um, and again, you want modern, modern women. Yeah. They're, they're modern today. It's yeah. modern women who want traditional men. And they want traditional men in what sense to be, they, want a, they want a man that's going to be, um, understanding to what they want to do. Mm -hmm. uh, they want, they want a man that's going to be, um, say, yeah, baby, go, go, go with your girls on them girl trips, you know, take a week. Um, they want a man because again, last night we spoke about, uh, uh, Korean Stephens, you know, the girl they call Superhead or whatever. Then her and her husband were married, and Lil Wayne, the rapper, and Bow Wow, the rapper, they had the phone number to her house. And they would call, and the husband would pick the phone up and say, hey, babe, Lil Wayne on the phone. Lil Wayne would say, hey, listen, I'm in town. Come give me something. I need you to be with me for a couple of days. She would tell her husband, hey, that's Lil Wayne, baby. He want, he want me to come spend some time with him. Her husband would get up, and he said, she did a whole interview. You got to watch it. Her husband, she said her husband would get up and say, okay, let me go move the car so I let you out. He would let her out. She'd go spend a couple of days with Lil Wayne. She said when she'd come back, he would cater to her like none other. He would rub her feet, run her bath water, cater to her. After she'd been with another man for two days. Conforming. You know what you're saying, though, right? He was he was pimping her out. That was not, that's not a, he was like, hey, was, I never looked at it like that, security boss. What? How, what, what else? I like that. Oh, okay. I am. You just oh, changed my whole true. perception. She and she felt like she was in control of the situation, didn't she? Yep. She was being pimped out by both of them, in yep. my opinion. In my yeah, opinion, you call, it right. call it what you want. Because guess what? He came home. She came home, and he made sure his hoe was ready for the next one, right? Ooh, <laughs> scared about your own one today. And that what it was. He made yeah, sure. Yeah, he said, "Let me wrap it, girl, because you probably tired. <laughs> let me let me get you together, because somebody might call tonight." Right. Really? Yeah, your husband, you going your husband's gonna do this knowing full well you've been with another man. Come on, come on. He got some intentions. He got some real intentions. Let me screw up that thing off and send you back out. We got to get it right. You say your feet hurting where it hurting that. Let me make sure I rub it because you know that next one might might be a toe man. Yeah. Like, <laughs> come on, security. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Why I don't understand <laughs> why you're playing around so much. It's just like listen, I have never Ooh. men, men, men. I need y'all to be men. Whatever, you know what, be men. Be, if you don't want to be married, listen, I am, I'm not talking to you. Don't be married. You, just don't. But if you want to be married, be a man, stand on your square. If you want a, tr a modern woman, because I've had a man tell me that I was quite surprised, but a man has told me out of his mouth, I want a modern woman. I said, oh, wow. I've never heard a man say that. He was like, yeah, I, I want her doing something. I want her responsible for paying some bills too. And he was a high earner. He said he still wanted her responsible for saying, I was like, you know what? I like you. I'm glad you said that. Because so often um, men are saying just the opposite, but they're accepting just that. And that's what's confusing these women because you women start having to pay bills and coming up with a lot of money to do certain things to live in these houses. Listen, everybody's not meant to have a $400,000 house. Everybody's exactly. not meant to have that. I told a story last Friday night about how my dad worked two jobs and he was very conservative, but he was to the conservative to the point where my mother had to do nothing. 
But whatever she did do, she did it because she wanted to. Far as the little work she did or what have you, it was for her to buy clothes. They're gonna cancel me. Oh Jesus, not today. That tomorrow. Today I'm talking. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. Yeah. I'm trying to get canceled. No, for what? Anyway, maybe tomorrow they can do that. But today I'm gonna talk to y'all about this, lady, men. Be conservative in your planning. If you can only afford, if you make 60000 and you can afford right now, because stuff is so crazy, an apartment, two bedrooms, $2,000 a month. If you got a woman, put that woman in that spot with you and, and, and let that be what she do. Now, she can get her job, but she need to be at home when you get home. She doesn't need to be out late at night trying to um, work second shift. You work first shift or whatever. And guess what? Y'all ain't got no money for no babies yet. So men, y'all have to regulate this. That's why y'all need a plan. So men, one of y- the ones that ain't got a plan, but you got a woman, I need y'all to go think about this. If you, if your situation is one that makes you think too hard, go get yourself a plan. Write that plan down. Be sincere about it. Don't be selfish about it. Be sincere about it. Talk to that woman about that plan. Now, I don't know how long you've been in the situation that you've been in, but if you've been in too long, it's going to be a little hard. But talk to her about it. Say, listen, babe, I really want to be this type of man. I want to be I want to be responsible for the, whatever goes on in this household. She don't comply. Give her that 30 day, that 30 day. You kind of put no notes, 30 day notes. And, and, and guys, I, I want to encourage you for the next 30 days. Every Monday that we come on in this 30 days, get in the chat and tell us how it's going. We would love to know how. how everything well, see, is listen, going. AJ right here says he's been married 10 years. His wife. Hold on, AJ. I just went away real quick. My wife agrees. Yeah. that she preferred marrying up or the potential of marrying up i had career goals from the beginning she's traditional um i would say that i probably would agree with that i don't understand i think maybe you maybe let me say it again when my husband and i got together my husband didn't have any money but he was a he was an entrepreneur and he knew it whether he had been clothed in that was at a hundred thousand six six figure plus he was not so when he got so otherwise I did the same thing that your wife that you and your wife did we did the same exact thing but when he did get it he got it and he was a man even when he was broke that's the point I'm trying to make and I'm I'm AJ I'm trying to I'm kind of believing that's what you're saying about yourself see it doesn't take six figures that's my point I'm trying to make but you want to say that a woman wants to hypergamy but guess what uh, it doesn't change who the man is. Because you can be a man with six figures, actually more than that, and still not quite be that man or that leader that needs to run that household mm-hmm. or that, that woman respects. So, yes, sir. I'm, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I don't mean to interrupt, honey, but you say you you preaching tonight. You got a fire like I've never seen before. I got third degree burns because what you just said. Take take Mr. Boss for instance. How many women, if there was no security boss, how great Mr. Boss is today, giving him his flowers right now, guys. He's a great man that covers his woman. He's there for his woman. He's whatever she needs, the camera angles, the music, the back, everything you see right now, he supports his woman. And she said, when I got with him, he had no money, but he's an entrepreneur and he knew it. And he knew even it. though he didn't have the money, he was still a man. And she looked at him as such. Now watch this. How many women would have passed up on such greatness because he didn't have the money? That's what I'm talking about. That's why we're talking about this now. Do you value a traditional woman? Because men are passing them by because they don't look right. They 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 looking at what they think. They the meow. You know what? That meow yeah. meow got them confused. Yeah. Or them BBLs got them confused, and they missing the woman on the thumbnail with the with the uh the natural and and, and no makeup or whatever. Or the woman they are missing it. Because I'm telling you, I did. Hey, Chicago Rilla, I was trying to speak to you, and I. Rilla. Well, I better do it before I get too excited and go somewhere else. But that's what I'm saying, AJ. I did. I was with my husband when we didn't have a lot of money. We had jobs, but I knew he still had that plan. You remember, I'm telling y'all to put this plan together. I've been saying that, right? Put this plan together and have that woman work within your plan. Have her work within your plan. That's it. Do it. And if she doesn't, if she wants to come in and tell you what to do, I'm trying to tell you, you're going to have some hardships. I'm not saying it won't work. Because, y'all, we can make some things work, but you can't get up on here on YouTube and talk about how crazy these women are in 2022 and, and they not doing this and they won't be submissive and they won't do this. And what and if you haven't put together the plan, because, again, excuse me, again, I say he didn't have it, but I saw what was going on. Or I, I, Listen, he fed me the dream. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he fed me the dream. I believed it. I believe yeah. I believe in the dream. Guess what? A man can do that. I had the vi- he gave me the vision and I will say that all the time. I was a worker. He gave me the vision. And that's what a man can do. 
Y'all can do that. Don't keep letting women take your vision away. <laughs> hey, Brittany B, don't right. do it. Y'all don't and allow the men to take men. Don't allow these women to take your vision away. Listen, don't look at these women with these BBLs. I don't know what y'all doing. I'm just kidding with y'all for that. But don't allow the y'all get together. Get your plan together. Because it's just if you want a traditional woman and you want to take her care of her and dictate what actually goes on in your household and you want to, you know, to plan it out. You want to be intentional about when you have your kids. You want to be intentional about when you buy your house, all that. I want you to do that. I want any man to do that. And I want a woman to be able to be taken care of like that because it's too much for us to have to. Um, we're getting too angry. We're getting too upset. We be talking like we're going to be each other's ass almost every single day. Mm -hmm. I mean. Just Brittany, I think it was this morning. Brittany, you almost got your what's her name? Look, girl, I'm gonna tear you down because you was saying, um, calm down. I think was it today? I don't know when it was, but it's like ridiculous. I mean, it's like you know how they come at me, you know, for whatever reason. I don't care. I'm living my own life, and I want them to to do the same. But we're too angry. We're getting to be too angry for whatever reason, and I don't know why. Security boss, can you can, can you help? Can you help Sunflower Seventy? Sunflower 70 in the chat says, are we saying for men and women to shack up and play marriage roles or are we talking for men and women in today equal? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. It, it got, okay. Are we talking uh, for men and women in marriage? Worldly, worldly versus godly. Very confusing to her. So could uh, you help I'm, always, I'm always talking godly. There you Never go. Never talking worldly. Never talking worldly. I'm saying to a man right now, if he is a leader of his household and well, actually, black man said it, but I'm, I'm going to take responsibility for it this time. What I said is that a man, if a, if a man's wife is being honorary and he wants a traditional home, he wants a traditional home. He's a leader. He's the head of the household and he's done and put in the work. I'm saying if he has not done the work completely, he needs to put together a plan and he needs to go to his wife and tell him what he would like to for this marriage to look like, what he would like to have for her, what kind of husband he wants to be to her. And he needs to lay it all out. He needs to, of course, get her feedback. If she rebels against him, he needs to put her on punishment for 30 days. I agree with that. Really <laughs> I totally godly. agree with that. But always godly. Not to break up. I don't believe in that. You know, you, you picked her. But I'm just saying we need to find a way to let women know or let in a traditional, in a marriage relationship that the, that the men are serious about what they're doing. Because I'm hearing so often, my wife won't let me. My wife won't let me. And that doesn't make sense to have a wife not let a man who's put in the work, who's standing on his square, who wants to lead, who wants to be the man of the household, who wants to take all the burdens of the world and put on his shoulders. Why, why, why would a woman not chill in the background and do what she want to do? I don't understand that. Right. And women who, who, who want to be the partner. I, why would I want to partner with my husband? I want him to shoot the gun and I want to go hide. I don't want to be on the forefront. I don't, I, you know, I don't want to get shot. You know, I had a terrible story. I don't want to say it. But anyway, let's read this super chat. Um, Javaris Lee says, thank you. Thank you, Javaris, for your $4.99 super chat. It says security about marital virginity has increased for men between the ages of 18 to 30. True. So what black man is saying about dudes tucking them. <laughs> hey, the acorns is true. Listen, whatever you got to do till you find a woman, I, you know, I, I never found anything wrong with that. You all have the problem with the de-discipline. And I, I always uh, advocate for de-discipline because, listen, you don't want the child support issue because the child support issue is here. Y'all didn't case y'all didn't know it is real. OK, right. no need to complain about it. If you want some information on it, go to the state that you live in or the county and go get the outlines of the uh, the do's and the don't of the child support system. Go get them. Read them before you even be a part of the plan. And can I can I encourage the guys real quick? So, fellas, if you're married, you must have some type of um, belief, Christian belief, or whatever it is, because marriage is under that. But I will say, if you are, I would I would suggest that you have a foundation first. And what that mean by the foundation is before you go present this to your wife, have a foundation, meaning you go and you pray and you you know get yourself mentally ready for it. And then you find a scripture in the Bible that fits where you're going, where your vision is headed, and use it as a foundational scripture. And so when you feel like you're falling off, you can go back to that. And then you could tell her that. When you feel like you're falling off and you're about to get out of line, we'll go back to this foundation. But after you have that foundation, then after that, you have, this is the structure of the home. This is what we're going to do with the children. This is what we're going to do with their chores. This is, what, this is my delegation list of what I'm going to delegate under my leadership for the next 30 days. And I need you to be on, on board with this. 
because this is not just coming from me, but I'm, we're, we have a foundation of God first, and then we have to delegate this because that's how it goes. God, man, wife, children. So I have a foundation with God first that we can always go back to when we're feeling weary. And then we go into the delegation, what I need you to do, what I need the children to do, what we're going to do together collectively. And then we move in that vision moving forward. That's what I think that's what needs to happen for 30 days, guys. Do that for 30 days. And I guarantee you. You'll okay, see like, I, I like what you said, but I got one better for you. Go ahead. I'm ready. Instead of going to the scripture and finding one that fits your situation, let's, let's build a relationship with the father himself There you go. and set the example and the wife will follow. Absolutely. But you have to, you have to set that example because see, once you set the examples, she'll be the scriptures and don't know that she is the scripture and it wouldn't matter. Ooh. You don't have to go reminisce and, and, and beat upside the head because she missed it because we do miss it. Yeah. But you're setting the example of what you want or what you want your household to look like. And it's all about an example, but I do, I, 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 the 30 day, you shouldn't have to do that. You shouldn't have you to have do that. To, Listen, but... if you married a modern woman and you are a traditional man, and for some kind of way, y'all have lost your way. Y'all got to get that back. Somebody got to get it back in order. Somebody got to get it back in order. So do what you got to do, but me and be the example and stop. Don't, don't, don't come off your square. Don't do it. But I need y'all to recognize you know, the value in a traditional woman, because so oftentimes it's, it's just like what you just said. You have a man who says he wants a traditional wife, but he picked a modern woman. Now she's off. And then what? Yep. You know? So June, uh, Jenny says for June, let's uh, lose all this weight, whether it's pounds, resentment, ignorance, envy, etc. cetera. Shed some weight in June. Oh, I like it, Jenny. Let's say, well, let's wait, 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 wait a minute though. I'm not advocating for nobody to leave their wife. Okay, let's make sure we understand that because right. I don't want nobody taking the wrong message. I, I don't even believe in divorce. But men, we have to get the attention of our wives if y'all want to have a situation be traditional um, and if they're missing it. And the ones who are looking for a wife, stop being compromising. Stop compromising. Stop being controlled by the meow or whatever it is y'all <laughs> Don't allow it to happen. Be the man. Recognize the value in a traditional woman. Um, I, you know, he he just called it. Um, AJ said it was hypergamy. Um, am I? Are we saying that? That's a hard call because even without money, hey Gretchen, the man is the head. He is over me. So even without the money, he's hypergamy. He's over me. He's he's. He's an authority over the wife. So why? I mean, I might need to go back and black man, look up hypergamy for me and see if that's general, generally just dealing with money or is that in sense of the order? Because hypergamy, we use it a lot when we're talking about money. But like I said, my husband was a man even when he was broke and he was over me when he was broke, too. So, you know, he was broke and I was broker. Is that how you say it? I mean, I don't know, but he still was the man. He still was the man, and and I just want want to make sure that we are using the correct term. All right, I got it pulled up here. Hypergamy is the action of marrying or forming a sexual relationship with a person of a superior sociological or educational background. See, of course, that has nothing to do with money. That has nothing to do with money, so we can use it. But it's used so much with money. Am I right about that? Don't most time we hear it with money. Hypergamy, it should be that way. It should be, like I said, husband didn't have any money, but he was still the man. Y'all don't get it confused. If a woman looks up to you, yes, yes, that's hypergamy, but it has nothing to do with you having six figures. We're getting it confused. Y'all not going to confuse me because I've been married a long time. Yep. <laughs> Let's see, me and I know are not asking for no women's, no woman's posi- uh, permission to lead. They just do it. Mm. What do you think about that, black man? Men are not asking women to, listen, uh, let me read it again because I want to process it correctly. Uh, the men I know are not asking for no woman's permission to lead. They just do it. Okay, great. Those are great men. Uh, I don't but, think but, men are but, asking women, can they lead? They're telling their women they want to lead. And they're getting resistance. Listen, it don't take, like I said the other night, the young lady on the show, she was very, very modern. And she said it. She said, listen, all these different terms, he need to lead me. I need to lead. No, 
No, him making a final decision. No, I'm not. Don't we don't need to do all that? I tell him all the time we need to do all that. We just need to whatever needs to be done. We just take care of it. If it needs to be a decision made, okay, I make it. You know, he'll make it. Whatever. But I'm not falling into that. That's what she said. So listen, AJ said so your social status, social status may be, is that the exact word they use? I did hear social. I didn't know status or not, but there were other things that hypergamy included. No, so it, say social was, status. it says superior uh, sociological or educational background. That's what I thought. See, we're adding to it because we're, we're making it about your finances. Because listen, I have said it many times, praise, hope and pray this never happens. But if my husband went homeless, I'm going homeless with them. And that's what you want, AJ. You've been married 10 years. You want your woman to be homeless with you if that ever was the case. And that has nothing to do with the hypergamy of the relationship. You're still the man. And that's what we need to have our men understand. Because you come with that type of value. The value is with you. That's what that's what we need our men to understand. You have that type of value, no matter what you have. It has nothing to do with you having six figures. Yep, because back in the day, a man would come to a father's house with a horse and a bucket of uh, and a gallon of milk, and say, "I'm here. Can, may I may I have your daughter?" And that was good enough. It was good enough. Yeah, you can have my daughter's hand in marriage. Oh. So Jahari, hey Jahari, how are you? Listen, she says I'm really confused about all the terms and colored pills we have in YouTube platforms. Me too. But, but sometimes this is what we need to do. We need to break out. Um, we need to break out the the the, uh, the Google and just say what's up and see what's going on because hypergamy is used all the time, um, and was also mostly used if black man you help me out. It's mostly used with um, high earner man that makes more money and things of that nature. Yeah. But I'm telling you, I got with a man that that wasn't that, and I loved him as a man because he was. Right. And and I know many women who have done the same thing and we have grown together. My husband and I grow became one together and made money together. And it was OK for me to give or uh, to put my money in one pot with him. Actually, I, I think I would have preferred I, I wouldn't have wanted anything different. If my if my husband did have a lot of money, I wouldn't have married him because I'd be like, man, what you talking about? Nah, he, it had been too different for me. <laughs> it a bit too different so we needed i needed to see him grow and, and be on his purpose and and respect him as a man i needed to see that um aj says uh black man unfiltered cap in other nations men even pay a bride price uh for you know, yeah you're right they do another oh another thing too here's black man you mentioned something to me uh, a couple of weeks ago when you said that in other countries well, you said there were other countries that are getting their women women ready for black men, like Asian. You said it was Asian woman. Mm -hmm. I also told you about a video I saw about African women mm -hmm. and all of that. Um, they're preparing themselves for black men. Now, my question for you is, I told you a moment ago that I've been hearing too that we don't do what was going on. The 50s ain't working no more. The 60s and 70s, all that's not working anymore. No so what that says to me is we're not going back to tradition. So if we're not going back to, to for tradition, what are them Asian women and these African women? What are they what are what are they supposed to be doing when they come when they hooking up with our black men? Is they not supposed to be traditional? Yeah. So what's happening is I, I was on one of the ladies channels. Uh, I'll send you her link during the Asian lady. She said in her video. Um, the reason that we're so sought after or the reason that we're are trying to understand the African-American man because they're very unique. They're beautiful skin tone, the way they speak, their, their authority over things, whether it's their jobs, their families, they, they love that. And um, the reason that they're trying to figure it out because they don't want to make a mistake when they actually get with one. And so she gets, and she went into the financial part of it. I can take $10 and buy a week's worth of clothes at the thrift store. If that's what it takes for my man to be successful. She said American Western women are not going to do that. They want to go to the mall. They want to go to the Gucci store. They want to go. They want to go to all these different, do all these different things by the Jordans. And she said, no, my husband can give me a hundred dollars a month and I can, I can scratch that and make it work for two months, three months at a time. That's what we're trained to do for our men. That's what we're trained to do for these, these beautiful black men that we're trying to acquire and be wives to them and faithful and loyal. That's what's. I agree with that. But what, what I'm saying is if we're no longer doing that type of tradition or what we did in the sixties and seventies, then why are we saying those women, why are we asking those women to come over for that type of traditional marriage? Well, I think it's, we could call it, I had a name for it. Uh, I think we, we can call it traditional hybrids. And let me tell you what that means. <laughs> Where you get this from? <laughs> Just off the top of my head. Oh so my Lord. 
So traditional hybrids would be a woman that is traditional like yourself, <laughs> but you would be considered a traditional hybrid. Let me tell you why. Because you're a woman that's traditional, you bring it to your husband, but at the same time, you're making now what a woman in the 50s wouldn't could even touch. Right. Right? So right. So, the, so so financially for women, especially in our culture, the, the pay has changed. Back, back in the 50s, a woman can go get 50 cents for selling eggs. Today, a woman can make $100,000 for selling a house, for selling houses. And so now with her making that kind of money, right, that makes her, and, and like you said, what makes her a traditional hybrid is, a traditional a, a hybrid is that she breaking a hundred thousand dollars to the house, right? But she's making that kind of money, but she's also giving it to her husband. That makes her traditional. The hybrid part is is what she's making, right? She's making more than black women have ever made, That's right? Hundred thousand to whatever the number is. So she's a hybrid. She's in between modern and tradition. Modern making a hundred thousand dollars. Tradition husband. I made a hundred thousand dollars. Here it is, right? And so now women are more more they're working more and 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 listen 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 i'm gonna say this and i'm, I'm gonna let you open the grill up and check the meat watch this i don't know where women getting off saying that we should sit at home and do nothing while our husbands are at work There's okay no, in what a woman said that? Well, i never heard a woman say that who said they're gonna sit at home and do nothing okay well, oh lord have mercy so i, I haven't heard that now i, I thought women I, I, I've, heard, I've heard it live and in living, living color in these small groups, especially at church. Women say, girl, I need, and one of the guys in there, he was bragging. When I work, my wife don't have to do nothing. She just sit over there. And don't, she can sit at home, watch her favorite soap operas, but I don't have to do nothing. She don't have to do nothing. All the women are like, yes, I need that. Yes. And so my <laughs> thing, so, and, and so I'm, I'm thinking to myself, there's nowhere in the Bible because we're in a church setting. <laughs> <laughs> where it says the woman sits at home and does nothing. The Bible says while the man is out working, the woman finds it, feels, and buys it. She 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 takes things from afar to the market. She sells them. She brings money home. Security boss. She brings money home. Like she women manages like, the house. You ain't got to tell me nothing. I didn't, I didn't think women still do that unless they have kids or something. So that's a different one. That's that's different. That's huh, I don't even know what to say about that. I mean, I, I, I don't know. I mean, I guess she might just be, you know, maybe have it be at home, letting it salivate for her man when he come through the door or something. Could that be the case? Maybe. That well, we, know, well, we know sexless marriages exist. Look at Dusto. He understands. Sex, sexless marriages exist right now. Women feel like, okay. listen, I don't have to give you nothing. Let me say this. AJ, if you're available, I would love to have you cam up because I would love to talk to you just a little bit more because um, the, the thing with the hypergamy, you know, um, I just wanted to say, I don't know if I've seen, you know, I don't know if you've been in this chat before, but my husband, and I, I work for my husband. And um, just like you were going back and forth with Tam, you're you all are exactly right. They do work, make six figures. We do, too. But we, we just ain't been This hasn't been us for the long haul, you know, and he still was a man. So, you know, do women look for men to do that? That's what I'm hearing. But men, there are women that will love you for being a man. And then you all can do that together because that's what's, what's what you do. You work be on one accord when you're married, when you're going to get married you're on one accord with your woman. Y'all learn each other. You become in one things you do together is for the household and for the children. You have to be intentional, though, about what you do. And when you're doing that, a lot of this stuff that we hear don't make sense. You know, Tam says she was a stay at home wife and worked. OK. When the school it went away, okay, we go. <laughs> went to school for computer engineering. You had a plan. That sounds like a plan. It is. It sounds like a plan. I can imagine that the husband put together a plan, and that's what he, they need to do. You need to put together a plan. and you need to find a woman that will work within that plan. But they need to be able to value those traditional women that are willing to do that. And I think they're missing them. But Dusto gonna let me know in a minute if that's really the case. But um, before we do that, male, um. I need you to show your face to Mr. Boss really quickly in the back so we can make sure you who you are um, because we don't need no surprises. I need I would you to, love to see male face, period. Mayo, let us see your face. I'm having behind that avatar. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, while he's getting that together, because I don't think he heard anything I said, but I'm going to say it again. Mayo, when you um, if you can hear me, I need you to show your face for just a moment so we can make sure you who you are. Not that we know you, but we want to make sure you're a person. <laughs> Ah, it's me. I don't have a camera. Oh, male. 
Man, we're going to have to, um, we, we're not going to be able to let you up. You're going to have to stay live in this chat because we, we can't do that. We haven't, we don't want no issues. We saw something terrible the other day and we don't want to be a part of it. Had nothing to do with you though. Nothing to do right. with you. Exactly. So it did not. So don't think that. Don't go nowhere though. Continue what you're doing. Um, Dusto. What's going on? <clears throat> Who am I actually talking to today? Are you scam likely? Are you DP? Are you that alter ego that was over there on mail this channel? Give you away all your goods. Which one are you today? I just want to know how to address you. That's all. Uh, I guess I'll just be Dusto for the day. Okay, now tell me about Dusto. Me and him never met before. <laughs> but found, but for scam like is all scam like is always the foundational. So all right, all right. So how you doing? I'm all right. Good, good. So tell um, me something. What you think about this? Um, do King, can, can you value a traditional woman? Yeah. Um, where they at? You don't see him? No. Me and you going to continue to have this conversation, right? So every woman you meet is a, a modern woman. She, she, gives, she gives you modern day vibes. But before I, before I get, what's the actual definition of a modern woman? Before I start saying, and you know, and somebody asked me that in the chat and I can't give an actual definition. I was just say a modern woman is the average of what you see today. That's, I guess, my generic definition. Well, you know, what? we ne we never defined, world. we never define. Yes, this is good. I'm glad you asked that because we never, I, over here, I don't define modern day women and think I only define traditional because that's what I'm concerned about. So I'm going to have to ask you all to define modern, modern oh. women. Y'all do that. I had the definition pulled up right here ready. Okay. okay. Well, okay. Oh, go ahead, black man. Yeah, the, it says here, the, a modern woman <clears throat> uh, is anyone, any woman who is living in the now who questions everything, who asks everything, who challenges everyone, <laughs> and who stands up for what she believes only for her and not others. That's what it says here. Um, where you get that from? <laughs> I'm reading it right now. You want me to share the screen? No, from says, where? From where? What source? Yeah. I just Googled no. it. I said modern woman definition. That's the first thing that popped up. Wow. Oh, yeah, God. I was, you being, I was being more lenient and just saying the average of a woman that you see today and you and averaging those women out they're not wives and they're not fit for marriage. When you so say average, you mean you're trying to average them in numbers. So you you meet five so women. Saying generic, just women of today. No particular race, but average attitude, height, weight, career, mindset, attitude, all that stuff put, all put together. Your average woman of today. Is a modern woman. Ones that think about thinking 2022 setting. Ones that think of 1964 or so. Now, is this a particular age of woman for you? To be honest, um, they just got different screw ups at the different age groups. But it's you're better not, to go not, younger if you have no, your choice because they listen a little bit more, huh? You're not helping me out because listen, because we all in modern times. I'm a, I'm a modern, you know, I'm living in a modern time. I don't question everything. Hey, Britt. Hey, Mandre. Hey, Jedi. I don't question everything, but I'm living in a modern time, right? Yeah. So but when I'm he was saying you're a hybrid, yeah. I, I would define you as traditional because yep. when the marriage is tested, are you going to go modern or are you going to go traditional? If your marriage was tested, Hurricane Jenkins came through North Carolina. <laughs> which, <laughs> what are you going to do? Are you going to stand behind your man or are you going to jump in front? If no. You stand behind your tradition. Yeah. I'm you, standing behind. But I don't know the any woman. Traditional. Would, but I don't know any woman that would stand in front of the man if Hurricane Jenkins came through. Or it could be Hurricane Bank Account or Hurricane Crisis, and how it could be anything. But when something is breaking down, do you go stand behind your man and you go fight for your marriage, or do you go run out here on you on Instagram? You know, the women right. who are traditional. I say they're gonna like my mom. Somebody that? got music playing. Okay. Oh, I thought that was a commercial or something. I'm gonna tell y'all why I'm not being nice. I'm hey, somebody mute. Somebody mute. Somebody got music. I mean, I'm playing in the background. What was that? Mm, not sure. Know. But you, the know. reason the reason why I'm asking about the age because you know you got from it sounds like you're speaking of about from 18 to 25. Well, I'm saying the age. Just like I was on a panel yesterday. And it's another headache they give me when they do the cycle calculations. It kills me. They were talking about how much did you spend on the first date when you meet a woman? Oh. Well, I think $33.6. Well, I think 47.2. 
It's like, what's the age of the woman that you should be dating? Mandrill, I say 31 in three days. I say 26 point. At the end of the day, you be who you are. You probably have a range. And then there's people that you meet. And it might not, it might be off here, off the image. And then you date and the person of your age is going to, that's going to be what you track. Or that's going to be who you date. It's not going to be, sorry, I'm going to talk to you. Because you're only 27 and I'm date 28 to 32 only. That's men. Scams. But see, listen. Yeah, um, the men, yeah these are blockheaded men. Yeah. Scam, so scam listen. Pretty bad, wasn't it? Yeah, you got it. Hi, security boss. You got to keep scam on track. D yeah, no, because you know, well, I, I wanted. I saw this because, but he's pretty cool though. He's a cool, mellow head type man though. But what I've been seeing here lately is that I don't think men can recognize a traditional woman. Um, I think they're they're making all of them appear to be modern women without even. Uh, a good conversation. There's some who are hey, doing hey, that. Hey, can I say something real quick? Well, wait a minute. Let me get done. <laughs> I've seen because I've yeah. seen that. I've seen it when a woman may only have because see, women are not. Um, we're we're people. We have brains and everything, you know. And if we're old right. enough, we live, we lived a little bit of life and we have some wisdom. Right. But so we have some things that we can share with you all, men, that you may not know. But I've noticed sometimes if we share the older women are women period it comes off like um some men may read it as uh gosh i can't think of the word but you're, you're in a minority you, well you know they know they see it as they may see it as um anomaly uh, no they might see it as no they, they don't know that i'm a woman speaking value into them versus a woman rebelling against them you're a married woman though it's totally different well i say the same thing but sometimes you don't ask the question what and you if mean? you don't know me, like if you know who I am, right? So you know my story, you hear most of the time. Right. So, but if I, if me and you went to another platform and these people didn't know me, they may treat me just like Brittany, or they may feel like me and Brittany are equal, you know, not that I'm a married for a while or what have you, or that I'm any different from any other single woman that's on YouTube on a Saturday night. I would you know that you're married by how you speak. I would know. You, you would know that? Yes, mm -hmm. I would know. Okay so, then, okay, so guess what then? You're making my point. You are making my point that some men don't. Oh, those men are, they got a problem. They should know. Yeah. That's all, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying that. I'm no, not saying hey, there's a problem. I, not, but I'm just saying. There's some, there's some, some corrupted, uh, there's some corrupted dustos out running Wait, around I, here. I disagree Let's with you, Dusto. I, me, I, me, I disagree. Let me tell you why. You know That's how women, and I want to say ahead. women go through traumatic experiences where they go through a lot of busted up dudes, right? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Um, but let's, uh, I'll take it up uh, uh, one further. Women go through traumatic experiences, but men, when men sexually assault women, right? And when a woman gets sexually assaulted by a man, it is very, very hard for a woman to transition into love relationships because she carries that hurt and that pain with her every day of her life until she starts to get the help that she needs and starts to come back into who she really is, right? So that traumatic experience changed her in the way of her life and the way she moves, all right? I think that the severity for men that we really don't pay attention for, for men on the other side of it, some men have gone through traumatic experience. And, and, and after a woman has gone through a traumatic experience like that, a man can't even touch her, her dad, her uncle. Nobody can even be there to comfort her because the sight of a man scares her, right? The sight of him makes her feel uncomfortable and awkward. And she has to start to build and get the help she needs to get back into the world. If we look at that on the other side, for men, men experience the same thing, but not to severity, not to downplay what women experience, because that's a whole nother thing. And shout out to women that are recovering from that and all the men that did it need to go to hell. But I'm saying for men, men go through traumatic experiences with women for years, whether it could be something like that as a child or anything, and they'll look at every woman. So men have been deprived from traditional women for so long they start to look out and see every woman being the same. So now, I'm, no matter if Britney B is great and she's amazing, I'm going to look at Britney B the same. Uh-uh. Nope. She, nope. Mm -mm. And Britney B can come into my life and change my life, and I, I'm still going to self-sabotage. I'm like, hell no. It's just a matter of time for that other woman in her show up. Uh-uh. Oh, yeah. Or you did and men, and men will self-sabotage. They will self-sabotage. That is true. No. That is a very no. much that's true. No. Oh, yes. no. and great. No. Scam self sabotages. It doesn't work the same no, way only, the other way around. I've only it done it two times in my no, life. But, but Mandrell, I'm 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 a witness to it. I'm telling you, Don't it do does that. work that way. It, it has worked that way. I have exactly. witnessed it work that way because if if a woman, if I, I if I'm telling you I value you and you know that to be who I am, but 
if you're wrong, Mandrell, and I said, Mandrell, that was that wasn't right. You said something incorrectly. You can't make me not value you because I'm a woman. You get what I'm saying? Right. I so at, that, so, at that point, but... are these husbands anyway? Oh, I don't know. I never, you never know. I'm just talking about random people. I'm not talking about anybody particular. I just see, right. I have seen women in the corner, in men's corner and men challenging them for no reason. And if we want to get to the end, completely to the end of gender wars, we have to start listening to people individually and hearing what they're saying before you are attacking because they are a certain gender. It would be just the same if Brittany came out the door and you said, Hey, Brittany, or whatever, you look nice today. And she said, Oh, you go, they go another Pookie and Ray Ray. I ain't got no time for you. Yep. Oh, my bad. I waved too early. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? If she, if she said something like that, you would be like, Dang, I, all I said was hello. Right? Yeah, that's that's going on on both sides. Like, yeah, it's on both man. sides. No, no, I'm I, I'm a, that's, that's both of them. We yeah. agreeing. We, we, I'm agreeing with you, but I hear it more. I don't hear because I guess I'm not in men, women's spaces where women have an opportunity to do that. Or mm -hmm. men would say to a woman, Brittany, you look so nice today. And Brittany would turn around and be like, why are you talking to me? I haven't I'm seen that. The wrong scenario, security I'm using the wrong ones. Okay. Yeah. Help me out, Brittany. Use your own. It's, it's happened to you a couple of times. Use your own scenario. <laughs> yeah, look. You me I look nice. Thank you. Yes. And look, and yes. Just like Mandrell, for instance. Mandrell has had a lot of experiences that we've talked about publicly. Everybody knows. And Mandrell will say, and they'll say, Mandrell, so uh, why don't you think women uh, want to submit to their men or be, you know, traditional women? And Mandrell will look at the camera and he'll just come down. They're not out there. <laughs> They're just not out there. They don't want to do the work. They don't want to go. They don't want to do the work. Scam likely what he said. They don't want to go to the gym. Yep. <laughs> they don't want to show up in the gym. They don't want to. And no, he's thing, seen man. so much imperfection. He's seen so much imperfection. Right. He's scarred by the imperfection. He's seen so many women that have not met the match for so many years, now he's thinking to himself, they just don't exist no more. And one can be passing right by, and he'll That's miss her exactly. because of because of what has happened in the past. No, no, he's no, 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 no. Hold, hold, hold on. If I see that 120, 130 that is fresh out the gym and stuff, I shoot my shot. I ain't no problem with that. Now that's not that's not the point. He just gave an example. What he's what an, I'm to you all is oh, okay. would you recognize a traditional yeah, the value in a tradition. You're saying that, but you just still have your mind on they all are the same. Because sometimes no, mm -mm, that's not true. No, you guys are wrong. It's so that's out what of we're telling with. you. I start exactly. Angry channel. I start the dust on network if I really believe that. And I and, and I'd be right there with him. But, but 100 percent of it, and, and nothing will be 100 percent of everything, Mandrell. Of course not. Have, he, right. But here's you know the, here's the thing. Wrong. No, here's the thing. We've seen so much nonsense and and, and craziness from women because right, I've right. had several black women, and I told you this black man, several black women tell me, ask me, why do you like black women? Why do you date black women? And I'm out on a date with them. Why don't you find a white woman to date? Why don't you find an Asian to date? And I'm on a date with them. Yeah, these, are girl, different, these, these, are, look, these are different black women. Not the same one. Ask, several ask different black women who are time. asking me, telling me to not date black women. Not, you not, got this Billy Cumber. Here's, here's the thing. The craziness, I've seen so much crazy that if I see security boss, fame, traditional woman, I know it when I see it because it's like fun seeing light in because pitch I, black. It's only because you know but me. No, no, traditional women stand I, out. I would have to agree with uh, with Mandra on that traditional part. Traditional women stand out. At a grocery store and we had a conversation for two minutes, I would know this is a great woman. In person. Then it goes into the way you dress, right, your presentation. Person. The, the, the presentation, everything about you, traditional women stand out. That's all the scam. That, that's why that's what I'm not saying. Well, listen, that's what, that's I'm, what I'm, I'm saying, no, we recognize it. And I'm yes, we value it. I've never seen a woman on any platform half naked. I, have, I, have, I said I haven't. Oh, okay. I, <laughs> Every man on this panel security. I didn't say y'all haven't. I said I haven't. But yeah, I, see yeah, plenty okay. women, I see plenty of women on platforms where the men, men are not giving them the time of day with their conversation because they feel like they're just like all the rest of the women and they're trying to have conversations. They may even be wrong by something. What I'm saying to you, and I say it all the time. Women don't know everything. Sometimes they're looking for guidance and answers. I need y'all to listen to them. I said, I need y'all to slow down and listen to what they're saying because they may be willing women. I say this all the time. But what I hear and see a lot is that there's no, no slowing down. It's 
always. I told you, I told you she was going to do that. I knew it. I knew. It. And y'all pandering for her and y'all are pandering for her. That's uh, what I hear. Security boss, just yes, hypothetical. Sir. Okay. No names and no, just, is it a possibility that we might be on a, somewhere like here with an established channel? Then we might go over to the dust old channel and see the same person. And it's a dust a thon battling out. <laughs> then there's on another channel where they be talking about polygamy. Then they're talking about chasing the bag. And then there's one talking about some other YouTube talking about point. What's another one I can't talk about? I can't stand. You got them all. You got them on all. your purpose. You got them. Today's topic is oh, yeah, on your purpose. I mean, then, oh, you know, well, I'm, I'm going to let Brittany talk about it because we, no. we could be doing everything. But I talk about marriages. I talk about men being women. Hell, men. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. It, yeah. it makes sense. Hold on. T-Shaw. It makes sense. T-Shaw. Hell yes, T-Shaw. No, Hell you yes. Point. You think we don't probably at 3.38 in the morning or something, <laughs> we hear them actually finally break down. <laughs> And it finally clicks that everything they're saying, oh boy, they he... want what they want, when they want, how they want it. And all of this was just chameleon acts. They don't want to be nobody's wife. They want to check. I've seen that. Right. Now, he's, he's absolutely we right keep, about that. You think we don't notice? Or we haven't, like, I'm 41. I've had these conversations. And well, I I'm telling it you. Because this I've been on all angles. I've been the dude who's struggling for the women. I've been on the simp side. I've been on the women drooling, crying over me. I've been on all angles. Really? <laughs> I've been on, yeah, them calling, why? Uh, just, oh, come on. What are you doing? Just, just, just let them go, security boss. This is from hilarious. I, from experience. Keep just playing. I've heard it all, seen it all, to the point where we've seen this before. I've heard this, and I, I know what you're talking about. All right, Nancy. I'm going to just leave it at that. Hey, uh, this is a hypothetical. Did you go to the beach today? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so, Brittany, tell us what you th Hey, <laughs> well, I'm going to speak to Hink first, but then, yeah. Brittany, you go ahead and tell us what you think, and then we're going to do Jedi and then Mandrill. So go ahead and tell us what you think. I don't know. I just came up here because I'm off, and I never get to get on your panel. Ah, well, thank you for being here, and you're welcome. Thank you. Thank but you. you can ask me a question. Well, I am because often I see you you get basically attacked <laughs> from all different huh? You and said it, I get attacked. Yeah, it seems like to me you do. And it comes from both directions, men and women. And um I often sometimes wonder, do they even can they even pick up on who you are? Do they pick up um, on that who that they should value? You should be a woman that is valued because you value men. You want you want to be married. You want this thing to work. And then the women, okay, I'm valuing you too, but I want to hold you accountable. I'm just wondering why we don't get we don't get it. And I think it's because we're moving too fast and we're not seeing who who each who we are. They're not recognizing because everybody has painted this brush that they, all these people are alike, and I'm gonna give it to them this way, and nobody's listening. And see, frankly, I'm. I'm kind of kind of tired of this the gender thing, the war. I'm ready for people to, to get together. So that's why I'm saying, husbands, I, I want you to 30, 30 days, put your wife on strike if you need to. And then uh women, I want y'all to clean it up, do whatever you got to do. But because it's time out for it. It's the conversation is like I don't understand it anymore. I understand you want a traditional woman, but can you value that traditional woman? And are you willing to be that traditional man? Or if you're going to be that partner, are you going to be that good partner? And are you going to put that plan out there and we're going to do it together, which is okay too. Yep. Let's be honest about what we're going to do and just do it. Well, I agree. I think sometimes we get on the panel, you have one person saying one thing, another guy saying one thing, other people saying one thing. That's why he's laughing because he knows I'm telling the truth. Um, and sometimes women just get, about. yeah, you do. And sometimes <laughs> women just get grouped all together. So exactly. sometimes I just, I just sit because they just, you know, sometimes they just say stuff to see if you're going to react. So when you come from a hill place, you kind of just let them talk. You don't really pay them too much attention no more. So. But it's kind of time out for that. Now. I think, I think the women who are doing the work, putting in the time should be recognized for such, yep. you know, if you got a woman giving you a hard time and she's out of order, make accountable account make her account for it i mean work that thing out let her know what it is she needs to know but don't put all women in that that little trick box and think it's okay to say whatever you want to say well security boss let me tell you well, something the dudes ain't listening either though let me, so. let me tell you some jedi's on here jedi what is that, that what is the name of thor's hammer who uh mirror um, a okay. million right million i'm sorry million right 
when when this is what happens in these spaces, security boss. Okay. We're we're Thor. We're we're men of power, and we sit on these panels, and when these women get to talking and they get to saying all this stuff about uh these women don't exist, these women crazy, all these women, you know, ain't nobody doing that. Y'all with this analogy, we hold out our hand like this, this here. We we hold out our hand like this, mm -hmm. and guess who shows up as that hammer, as Thor's hammer? Security boss. And we use your name. Watch this. Oh, oh y'all saying ain't no woman like that. Zoop. Security boss like that. She love her husband. She loves she goes, she takes care of him. She's there for him. We use you as a defense against what they're saying in these YouTube spaces. And if hold on, hold on, black man. Hold on. But then at the same time, that. you have to be worthy enough to even equip. Uh, come security on, boss. Jenna, you you got where I was going. Come well, on. but 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 I was gonna say one well, security boss. Let me add on to this analogy because that's a perfect example. Nobody can hold her. But, but that's the thing. You also have to remember. <laughs> hold on, black man. Don't don't see y'all. Oh, that's, that's, that's for Jedi. Hold on, Jedi. I thought you knew where I was going. I said be careful with that because yes. somebody broke Mirnir. Mirnir was it? And it was a woman. Thank you. Listen. What I would like to see more, what I would like to see more instead of you calling my name, calling my name and saying she's the one. I want y'all to be the example because I say the same things to you all also. Make it your opportunity to set an example for that woman because women tend to listen to me and more so than they do me. They don't mm. listen to anybody. Mm. Yeah. But guess what? You know what they have? You know what? Uh, no, I guess what? I got one for you. Hink does it. I heard Hink he before. Security, he'll say security boss did it over here. He'll do it. But he also is setting that example. He'll say, leave him in the restaurant. He said, I'll tell him all the time. Don't talk. I just told him in the day, 30 days, put him on a 30 day restriction. So why won't y'all be the example? If, cause you know what, you know, women don't like women too much. Y'all already know that. I've told y'all that a whole lot. And, and you mm. know what? It's about if I can add to that, because me and Brittany B, I love her so much. She's but different. Brittany B, she said the hammer got broke, right? But then he had to lose that hammer because then when he lost it, he knew what the, at that point he figured out something. The power that he that what he was possessing with the hammer was already inside of him. Yep. You figure that out way he later. Didn't need it no more. Come on he now. Figure that out way later. Come on look now. Look hey, how much you went through to figure that out. Come on, he had to go through something, didn't he? Had to go through. Come yeah. on, we work, we work. Come on, we got to go through a journey to get where we're going, brother. Yeah, he realized at the right that. time that it was, it was it was within him the power that he had. So and now I don't have to. His father to tell him though. Okay, and so what you saying then? So you saying the same thing I just said? It's in you. Well, here's the, thing. Here, well here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the You need the catalyst to it. Okay. I remember I went through my little uh, simp phase. You know, I was 18, 19, fell in love with a chick. Okay. And then my dad, my dad oh. watched. Now my dad watched me for a while. Right. Didn't say anything for a minute. Then he does. He said, well, that girl got your nose wide open. <laughs> and so I said, what do you mean? He said, listen, stop falling behind that girl like that. No, go do the things you want to do. Okay? Do the things and then let her come and do the stuff you want to do. All right? If she don't want to do that, fine. Leave her where she's at. And if, you, you, you know what I'm saying? Now, here's the thing. He was, it took him to, to teach me. He still let me go out and fall on my flat on my face. Okay. And then, because when it was all over, he's like, Yeah, I told you, didn't I? Yeah, you did. Is it going to happen again? Nope. No, sir. Man, bro, I got scared. You know they didn't tell me that. I got scared. I know, but my, my, my dad, my dad, at least my dad told me, and it only took that one time to learn. You don't change, so you don't so change behind women, you, man. But I was a teenager, Hank. Why, why, why don't you? Why don't you? Why you can't show the woman that you love that you love her? Yeah, you, you do show her that you love her, right? But you can't but, what? Do, but you can't do everything she wants to do. Why There's not? Things you want to, huh? Why not? Why y'all can't do everything each other wants to do and then oh, do no, 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 no. See, you do it. See, right there. That's the correct answer. Oh. But that's not what that's not that's that hasn't been men's experience, you know. And, and that and experience man, in particular, that's not what I was doing. No, I was doing Mandrell, uh, she, you know what question I'm gonna ask you? What am I about to ask you right now? Was she 300 yeah. pounds? No, no, she wasn't. Oh. Did she like you? Yeah, there you go. Did she like oh. you? Did she love you? Oh, neither. Thanks. Damn, man. A moment of silence. You, 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 can, tell, you can tell from... from I see, uh, why he asked me that question is because... No, he's a, a, man, I was a teenager. Like a little, damn, you can't get now. So you were broken. You was...
doing you hey, give your, look in the your mirror. Poker check? Listen, man. No love or light. Hey. Nah, it's, 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 it's what it is. Hey, look. I mean, we all have. We, look, we all have our days that aren't that good. Okay, but we learn. But we learn from them. All right. All about it, as long as you learn. Yeah, it was a hard lesson. It, 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 it was a hard lesson, but it was a lesson we'll learn. All right, Hink. Go ahead. Uh, what you got to add to this? And then Jedi, you're gonna we're gonna see what you have to add. How y'all doing today? We I'm make sure I get my grade here. I, I'm not talking to Brittany because Brittany said I'm not a favorite, no more, but I'm a forgiver. I'm going to still show her love regardless. But nonetheless, man, protect yourself at all times. I'm sick of this shit, man. I'm sick of hearing these simp stories. I'm, I'm very disappointed. Mind you, how old are you now, bro? I'm 43. That's, that's a goddamn shame. <laughs> Damn, like, how old are you? I was 19. Hey, hey, this is an old self story, so it's it's it's, it's justified. No, I was it's, it's never justified. Though. No, okay, look at him. Okay. 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 I was seven in the twenties. I ain't know where. Don't that shit. You got a chance. You got a chance. Don't fall. Don't fail. I mean, you know, find the right woman. We man, we got to have the conversation, man. We got to talk to these women. We got to vet these women. And if they talking crazy. Then leave them in the restaurant. It's not going to continue. Don't take them out on these high price, expensive dates. Take them go get some coffee or go have a drink. I'm not going to spend four or five hundred dollars on a first date for what? Hey, Hank, where were, nice. at, Hank where were you I'll yesterday when they were analyzing the first date? Where were you yesterday for that? Oh, uh, he don't love the late night lives. What show was this? This was the late night live. He wasn't there. That was. I mean, if I, if I knew about it. Send me a message, I'll be there. I, if I have to set my alarm to wake up, I'll be there for you, dog. If that's what I need to do, I'll sacrifice my sleep to help you black men out. I will. No, I'm just saying we hold dudes accountable too. We uh, you, hold you, ourselves you, accountable. First thing, first thing, first thing, I always hold Duke because a chick don't matter to me. She doesn't matter. Come on, she's he, secondary. You the prize. The Bible. Not I her. You saying. are the prize, dog. You are the prize. Mm, act like you are the divine prize. Come on, like, well, you, gotta I don't like agree with that. you gotta walk like you gotta carry yourself like it. Come I don't on, agree dude. with that. You can't, you can't be 41 and, and 43 and still acting like a simp, <laughs> crying and bitching and playing. You can't do that. This is yeah. yeah. let our nuts hang. We gotta let them drop. We These don't ain't new stories. stories. These ain't we new stories. Up. Well, so but, let, sucks, uh, but listen, a wife is a good thing, so I, I don't know about that prize thing. I want a man to be a man. Oh. You have to be, dog, because if not, she's not going to follow you. She's not going to be led by you. She don't want to. She don't want to be led by a coward. That's right. And if a man is a man, he could be my man and be great. And, so and if you don't have kids out. and you plan on having them, your kids not going to yeah. follow your lead. Yeah. And if you pass the test, I'm coward. I can't rely on my daddy. Yeah. My, if she my pass- mama got more more of a sack than she does. He huh? does, and that's bad. That's you bad. know what? If she passed the test. She get in the car, you open the door for her. If she don't, she'll realize she got to pay that ticket at the restaurant. Man, look, no, 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 no. No, I'm going to have the dress on. So you're going to know to open the door. I'm going to have the dress on, so you're going to know to open oh, the I door. No look, I ain't got no problem opening open the door. Look, I remember I had a situation the other day. Open the door for a lady. Man, she looked, she didn't say nothing. Act like she couldn't speak. I say thank you or nothing. I close the door on the heifer. Yeah, there she go. There you go, he. You know what? I saw something like that. There the, you go. Um, they were I saw that. I saw that. They were coming out of um a convenience what store and the young man opened the door <laughs> and like, walked out and she didn't say thank you or nothing. No. And That's you know what he did? He grabbed her and pushed her back in the store and closed the door and he said, you better try to figure out how to say something. Nah, just, right. Now I ain't pushed him. But that second did. door to get open. That second door yeah. didn't get open for him. You, you, he, just, she did not say thank you. She didn't. That was kind of surprising. She's mm-hmm. an honorary ass apple. We done, we done fell off. Yeah, we were wrong. My brother. We were wrong. Same time, Hink, that was the first and last time that happened to me. And I, also, incidentally, security boss, I was on a what? date with another another chick, uh, black, another black woman, told me not to open a door for her when I was opening the door. You should have left her at a restaurant. Yeah, you should have. You know what? You didn't open the door to get in the car, so when she didn't want the door open, she couldn't have gotten in the car. That should have been a short date right there. That's that's. Yeah. 
Yeah, 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 that's weird. That's weird. That's weird. Then I said, then I said, okay, listen, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do what I do. All right, I open the door for women. You don't like it? You ain't gotta walk in. Hmm. All right, so, so let's, I mean, let's do this. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, yeah. Crazy. Okay, so how are you? Thank you so much for your ten your ten dollars super chat. She says, like anything else, nip the problem in the butt. You should. If you go on a date with an unruly person, the consequences is immediate. Come on, no then, no need to invest your precious time on someone that will not appreciate it. That's so true. You get the money line song. Money line. I'm gonna run it every time. Give me mine. Going up, you know the kind. Money line. I'm gonna run it every time. Give me mine. Going up, you know the kind. Yeah, yeah. Hello, I'll be practicing on the line. You gotta practice the line. Oh, so information, information, man. How are you doing tonight? Uh oh. You Are you muted, muted uh, Information Man? What's going on, my guy? Uh, muted? Yeah, no, there you not. go. There you go. That's my brother right oh, okay. there. Information Man, what's up, bro? Uh, I'm doing very well. It's been a great weekend. Um, I'm enjoying the discussion you're having tonight. Um, these are the only ways that we can get through getting to the truth. We can get to the truth to solve our problems. Um, but I, I couldn't help but notice what was being discussed right here. And I think it's a deeper problem than just more than we think. And I think the deeper problem is that as a people, we have a lot of self-hate But as it relates to ourselves. And if you don't love yourself, you can't love other people. We just have a lot of self-hate, unfortunately. And it spills out when men make attempts to be polite to women and when women make attempts to be polite with men. So we have a lot of internal issues, a lot of mental health issues. I work as a, as a clinician in mental health, a lot of mental health issues that we have not addressed and it just spills out. And then when we try to relate to each other in relationships and dating, all these internal things that we've never dealt with, it all spills out and becomes a big problem in the end. And then black men, and I've had, I've had my experiences, so we'll walk away with a negative disposition towards our women. And that's how the stereotyping begins. And I just look at it like this. I don't know every woman in the world so I can't uh, make a value judgment on every woman. I can only make a judgment on the women that I ran across that had a behavior that I didn't feel that was acceptable. So what do I do? I just eliminate them. You know, I don't hang around a lot of guys who complain about these sort of things. We just eliminate women that we don't want in our life who don't fit what we're looking for. I mean, women do it too. If a man doesn't live up to your standards, you got to cut them loose, you know, and that's the reason why it's good to take your time with people because they're going to reveal who they really are in the end so that you can avoid making mistakes like marrying someone like this uh, or being involved with someone long term, getting them pregnant, things of that nature. So I think until we deal with those fundamental issues within our community, we're going to always have these problems. And that's the problem. We have not addressed those basic issues. Hmm. So, um, we're going to do a money line. Black Man Unfiltered just gave us a $10 super chat. And we're going to do the money line song with that. He says, fundraising for the men who are dropping out of SIMP University. I am hmm. so glad we're closing it down. <laughs> closing it down. Let's get the money line song for that. Money line. I'm going to run it every time. Give me mine. Going up, me know the kind. Yeah, yeah. I just got to tell y'all tonight when y'all trying to sleep, y'all going to hear money lying in your head and just stop. <laughs> That's all. That's all you got to do. But listen, information, man, I, I, I want to um, ask you a couple of questions. Then we're going to go to Jedi and then I'm going to okay. say hello to E-Man. Uh, E-Man, how you doing? But I'm um, to keep my answers short and stuff for the sake of the, you know, everyone on the panel. I got a little pushback on that, I guess, but I may, I may be all wrong. But let me tell you something I've experienced. I've experienced that black women a lot of times are mean as hell. And they choose to be that way. And it has nothing to do with ment mental illness. It's just that that's just how, who they are. You know, they may be unhappy with themselves. So I'll give you that. I'll agree with you. But I just know sometimes it just can't even be right. It can't even be good enough. I mean, just simple, simple stuff. Now, if, I, if you want to question, like, why would somebody be that way? Then I can definitely agree with what you're saying. But a lot of times we choose our behaviors. 
Um, just, I mean, and we challenge, and I'm saying this mostly because of the, the business that I'm in. I see a lot of women challenging men mm -hmm. unnecessarily. And this is like a facet of law enforcement. I mean, crazy, just real crazy stuff. I mean, just, just unruly for no reason. Okay. But let uh, me, give me, let me give you this the, pushback. The white man did it. I'm sorry. Let me, Go let ahead. me give you this pushback. All behavior is learned behavior. We are, we are, we learn when we grow up as children, as men, young, young ladies, there are certain things that are, um, we have a certain temperament to ourselves and things that we experience in life. And those things can stay with us long term as we get older experiences. And me personally, I do agree with you that there are women out there that can be nasty. Yes, they're out there, but you have to understand nobody becomes that way unless there were certain uh, circumstances in their environment that contribute to behavior. See, we're all born as babies, but we don't just come out of the womb being bad, evil, or whatever. These are learned behaviors. So let's say women are growing up in a household or even men, and they never saw um, appropriate behavior between a man and a woman. They never saw love in their household. They never had a father in their life. And then they go outside and they see they see the same thing that's being reinforced. So now there are a lot of sisters out here that are walking around angry like this because of a lot of things that could have happened to them. They might've been abused by men in their household, uncles. We got a lot of that stuff going on. They might've seen no love in the households I mentioned before. So I don't, I just don't think that people, um, people can decide to be nasty, but it usually it comes out of experiences that fashion them to be that way to be angry. And that usually becomes unresolved issues that were never solved. They never got therapy for it. They never went Can out I and got help. Well, wait a minute. Let me agree with him first. Right. I do agree with you totally, but I want to ask you this. At what yes, age do we, be account do we become accountable for our own behavior? At what age? That, I think the minute you become, well, I'm going to be honest with you. I think the minute you become an adult, especially if you're over 25 years of age, because the brain fully develops after 25 years of age. When you become an adult, then you're going to have to be responsible okay. for the behavior. And as an adult, you need to have responsibility to go get some help. You okay. know, there's enough information in our world that, that nice. you can tap into. So I agree. So, yeah. so what he's saying before y'all jump on his head, cause I heard him well, and I agree with you. Cause you're right. It's, it is learned behavior. But for me, I think we need to atone for our behaviors at some point in time in our life. We can't just go on our whole life choosing to be that way because what happens is we get payoffs for that. Uh, we tend to start enjoying that bull that we in. And I need to know from you, when can we stop paying them or when does the consequence needs to be added for that bull? And you said around 25, I can go with that. Well, the, re the only reason why I say that, I mean, you really, from the get-go, when you become an adult woman and man, you should really, the bullshit really should stop. But the reason why I say that is because it's, it's been proven in psychology that your brain isn't fully developed. That's why when people are in their early 20s and their teens, they make a lot of goofy mistakes. Your brain's not firing off correctly. But then as you, especially for men, for me personally, I'm 52 years old. I didn't really begin to hit my maturity stride until I got into my mid twenties. Why? Because I got married. I started learning more responsibility and things of that nature. So sometimes, and you, and, and I'm gonna be honest with you, women do mature mentally faster than men do. That's a biological fact. Right. It's biological. It you all are and men, we mature a little bit slowly, which is why we make a lot of goofy mistakes. I'm talking about as far <laughs> as what men do when we make mistakes, women make different, make goofy mistakes as well, but it's all a part of our growth and development. And at some point, you got to just say, um, if a person's a grown ass person, nah, man, you got to be held accountable, period. Right. And so, so okay. let me ask him this real quick. No, I'm good. And I, and I do agree with I, your point. Go ahead. Black so, 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 information, man, w w because you know me, you talk a lot. So, well, my, my, my question to, to for you is what about those people? Because you're a clinician, right? So, people that don't have a license ain't got nothing to say about what you, I'm not going to challenge you on none of this. So what I'm saying to you is, you know about the development of the brain and when it when they become adults, right? You know that women uh, that mature in their minds quicker than men do because it's scientifically proven, right? So I'm not going to argue any of that with you. Okay, all right. So um, and this is stuff that we can go research on our own as well. Yes. My yeah. thing is, do you also believe, uh, information man, that that bad behavior can be passed on to scientifically passed on to a child while the child is in the womb? 
right? Do, do you feel that that can be passed on genetically to a child to have that type of trauma? Because sometimes kids will grow up and they're eight, nine years old, and you'd be like, damn, she acts just like her mama. I, I do. Attitude, I, you know, I believe this to be true because there, there's already studies out there to say that some of our problems, too, when you look mm -hmm. at slavery and what slavery did to us, that deep from from a DNA level, that has had some impact on us today. Right. Uh, you can you can when you have drug use and alcohol use mm -hmm. in the family that can translate. Most of the dudes that I deal with in the prison system, they all come from that same background. There was a destruction in their family. There was drug use. There was gang affiliation. And when I talk to them about these things, these are the things that they talk about their environment, what they learned, and then they just translated it to their kid. Now they got a kid, and now the kid is in the gang. The kid is behaving like the father did. It right. is learned right. behavior that can be put out there. But this is the thing, gentlemen. When you find a woman, I always find it's very important to look at how that woman carries herself. Does she read books? Oh, most importantly, what kind of food does she put in her body? That tells you everything because that's what she's going to feed your children. Is she, a, is she a reader of books? Is she a person that seeks knowledge? Because when you have the child, the mother is the first guide, so to speak, that the, that the child knows. The mother translates the information while we as men are supposed to go out as, you know, hunters, gatherers. So if you got a woman and all she does is look at soap boppers and finger pops, so to speak, into garbage, what do you think is being translated to your child if she's the primary raiser of your child? Very, very important. And she'll translate whatever she learned or did not learn to that child. So it becomes a cycle from generation to generation. Very good. So listen, um, I want to say hello to a couple people and then we're going to go with um, Jedi Mike. And Y'all get those uh, thumbs up. Give us a thumbs up as you come into the live. We really appreciate it. And I am loving this chat tonight. Uh, we have a question out here, Tam. I saw you. Before we get done, we want to define what a man is because we've been throwing around. We don't define traditional woman. We don't define, excuse me, we don't define traditional wife. We don't define modern woman. But we have not defined yet what a man is. And I got a whole bunch of men here around me. So I want y'all to give us a clear understanding. And I'll add my two cents to what a man is. But first, we're going to go to Jedi. Jedi, did you want to add something to this, sir? Uh, no, I was just saying you had a question for me. I know you were asking other people um, in a panel about what was going on. But yeah. Uh, okay. hold on. Let me tell you. Hold that thought. Okay. Hold that thought. Hey, Bolo. Hey, E-Man. E-Man. Hey, B S B Black man. Dusto. Jedi Mike. Jedi, I'm going to have you define. I'm going to have you define the man. So work on that for us. Okay. Work on that for us. Because we want, we need a definition of a man, but not mm -hmm. right the second. So E-Man, go ahead and tell us what you think about this. Um, Can we, you can also answer this question too, um, Jedi, is um, can you men today value a traditional woman? Can we actually value that? So, it, well, it was a lot of things said, and I don't want to get on the soapbox, so let me answer that question. Um, so the first thing I'm going to say is that you can value a traditional woman if you can bring traditional traits to the table, right? I hear a lot of men want women to go 50-50 on the bills, but they want her to be traditional in everything else. So I really think that you, for her to respect you, you got as a man... We have to bring some traditional traits from back, uh, traditional traits to the table if we want her to be able to cooperate correctly. Uh, so that's the first thing is that what I have learned if you can if you can be kind of traditional in ways as a man, I see that women respect you. They give you that thing. Now I know we live in this YouTube world where we can't find no good women, but. I got one. My wife is amazing. She's definitely from the traditional side. Uh, and, and everybody say, well, you are anomaly. No, I think I just brought traditional values to the table, which made her feel comfortable being more a traditional woman. But we can't tell women to go out here and work 60 hours like men, but come home and be traditional. I get in a perfect world. We say that's how it's supposed to be. But I don't think that that's realistic. Um, so it's a couple of different. One more thing I want to say. So. I might be wrong. I might be looking at it from an anecdotal um, position. But if you take an 18-year-old guy and an 18-year-old girl and you take away kids, neither one of them have kids that's in college, those two are maturing typically at the same level. Now, if that girl have kids, she is going to mature a lot faster than that man. 
But if you take away the adult responsibility, women are not, in my, what I see around colleges, women are not really maturing so much faster than men. They're doing the same thing, making roughly around the same mistakes. But it is true that women who have kids are forced to be more mature and grow up a lot faster. So I think it's a caveat to these studies. So I'm not saying nobody's wrong. And I said that this was anecdotal, but that's just some things that I saw. Now you said that woman's unrealistic. So cute about saying she got with her husband, he had nothing, but she knew that he was a man. She knew his potential moving forward. He had nothing. Oh, no, so, so, but you so, got to understand that here she is right here. security boss got married a long time ago. We, we talking about what are the rules? He got married in 95. 95. That ain't too long ago. 10. 90, but when we talk about 95 versus um, 2022, it's two different. The whole vision of the, the, the couples are different today. We can't say a couple get, getting today in 95 and a couple getting to get together in 2022 is two different. It's just it's apples and oranges in my opinion. I don't I agree really, with that, man. I think we can if, if, we go, if we go with that thought process, if we go with that thought process, that's like saying driving in 1995 is different than driving in 2022. Same thing, man. If I may, if I may interject on that, Jedi, don't forget what you're saying because I want to hear it. Fundamentals, the fundamentals of driving is the same thing, man. We may have more technology when it comes to cars. I agree with you. But the fundamentals of what relationships were in 1908 is the same as 1998 is the same in 2028. Right. It's the same. E-man, tell, e tell me, e man, give us one. E-man, give me one thing that you think would be a fundamental difference between my marriage to my 30 year old husband, me 25 in 1995 and you, and I don't know y'all ages, but you and your wife in 2020, what, 20, 2019? Yeah, around there, yeah. Tell me a fundamental difference that you think would be a difference between, remember now, cause we were, we were 25 then, you know, we were young folks then too, cause people are people. So I, I think in 1995, we didn't have social media. We didn't have something to compare relationships to versus in 2022, we, we can see more options. So in 95, you typically dated people that was in your circle compared to now we can date people all around the world. So I think that is a big difference that men and women today is proven to have more options today than they had back in the past. Oh, okay, you're not talking about your relationships. You're talking about just the, the dating scene in itself. You're not talking about your marriage relationship. You're just talking about the uh, the... The access you talked about access, of course, there's a lot more access and then there's cameras. You're exactly right about that. But I thought you were talking about more with the marriage. Right. And comes comes to the I'm not saying when people get together because we ask okay. them I got about you. the traditional women. And I said, I get it. But now that traditional woman back in 1995 might only have options in her city, which might have been just a couple options. Now, this traditional women, everybody on YouTube, everybody on social media said that these are the most valuable women in the world and they got more options. They have way more options than somebody had in 95. So I'm not saying that marriage structure is different. I, I, if I, if, if, if y'all took it that way, I apologize. But I'm saying that now a man must come to the come better to the plate because that traditional valuable women have more options than she might would have had back in the past, if that makes sense. So, hold on, so security about this is what I was telling you about a few minutes ago. But the, the husband, okay, uh, but the husband is is actually the one choosing the wife, and you only marry one person. Well, I think it depends right. on the age. So, so I believe younger women have a lot more options than older women. All right, so. As a younger woman, she can choose from more suitable men because she will have more suitable options compared to as she age, her options become less. So we take a woman, let's just say 25 years old. She a 25 year old woman that's traditional. That is she she's she going to have a lot of options of dudes. And so what, I know we put this narrative that men choose. But I think women do have a, a, a choice in this thing, too, especially if they're young without kids. They have a lot of options, in my opinion. No, they don't, man. No, they don't. If I, if I don't if I don't ask you to marry, you won't get married. Uh, hey, How would that be? Right. Unless you are right, a modern thing to do, yeah. where you will let your wife ask you to marry. I don't know. That might be your thing. But the, hey, if I don't ask you to marry, he's you, right. 
it's yeah, not Rick, possible, though. Ricky Williams just took his wife's last name to, to make yeah. balance in the relationship. Uh, we're talking about that. I'm not going down that rabbit hole. <laughs> no, what, I'm saying, what I'm saying is if you ask any woman that's around 25 years old, and if she's traditional, she got a lot of men coming at her because all the men are talking about that's what they want. So if no, you're talking about but missing, but, he's telling on. the truth. Let me, let, right. let me say this, though. How would that be different then in the 90s or the 80s, women in the 80s. See, I grew up through those air. You talking about something that I grew up, not as a child, but as an adult person. I was in college it's, in the 90s. It's different. So I knew about how dating was back in the, in the 90s in, in, in that era, as many people on the panel. Women that were in their 20s still had the same option that women today have. Only different, sir, because I remember when all this social media got started. Not even close. I live in so. California where all this shit got made. So what the only like, difference, wait. sir, is that women didn't have the options or even men to get on our computers. But there were other things that people did to meet people. So it's always been the same that if women are younger, they're going to have more option because uh, there are a lot of men out there who want to be with younger women. So I don't see how that's different. The only thing is different is is our is, is our generation. What is relevant to our generation today versus what was relevant in the 80s and 90s and going on up. That's all. Right. Just we got so, more technology, right. but, but it doesn't change the fact that when it, it comes to everything. marriage, there's still fundamental things that a man does in a marriage are supposed to do and what a woman's supposed to do. Those things don't change. Only thing that changes is the technology around you. But so, the values what, are still the same. Is, a woman, it's not even worth a woman in Georgia I say a woman in Atlanta, Georgia, back in the day, would typically limit to the city that she was in. Right? She had all the options. Now today, she got options in California. She got options options in New York. She got options in Texas. Because especially if she's if she's promoting herself right on on the internet, I'm just saying that she is not limited to that state anymore. No one disagreed. No one disagreed with the option of her reach is further. You know, this is the this is the point. The point is because I, 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 you know, I dislike dealing with branches and I like to deal with the root. The root of the matter is, as men, what we're doing is we see that we have a bigger pool to pick from, but we know that that pool, we know we can't swim in the 12 feet. We know what type of women we will be for. We know. But because we have that reach that's further out, we go towards those women that we know is not for us. You need to know who you are and where your strengths are and what type of woman you need for you. Every woman on the internet ain't for you. Right. It ain't for you. Exactly. So when you sit there and you say that the only difference is women have a, a wider reach. Hell yeah, you're absolutely right. Women have a, a wider reach. So do men. And women make the same mistakes that men do. Because of that wider reach, they reach out for men that they know that they are not for. So we have to know what our appetite is by knowing you. So it's up to you to curb your appetite from walking into that candy store and saying, I want all the candy in here, opposed to you having five cents and picking a damn candy you can afford. That's the problem. When we start making this thing more complicated than it is, being a husband and being a wife is simple, man. Let's stop making this thing complicated. It's real simple. It's not hard. You follow the parameters of what a husband should be, follow the parameters of what a wife should be, and you know what? It'll work. Doesn't mean that you won't have your ups and downs. Everyone has their ups and downs. But when we start throwing arithmetic in there and we start throwing science in there and we start throwing, you know, I just had a conversation with a dude that was talking about the moon raising damn seeds. <laughs> don't even do like, What does that have to do? What does that have to do with me knowing who I am as a man and going out there and picking the woman that fits my fly and vice versa? These women, before they go out there and try to have a baby, understand what being a mother is. Understand what being a wife is. But see, Bolo, what reality. we're saying, you got to understand what we're saying, Bolo. We're saying a traditional woman who got this figured out. I, I agree with you, Bolo, that women need to figure this out. But if she's a traditional woman and she got all these things figured out, she have options. And and not and I'm not just saying the low hanging fruit. She's gonna have great options. And yeah, the, the biggest thing she's gonna have, E man, 
a woman that, that knows that she's traditional, because we had this breakdown, right? A modern woman is about herself. A traditional woman can go into any environment and understand that it's not going to change her. She's going to get the spoils and bring exactly. it back home. So we understand that. The point exactly. that I'm trying to make to you is a traditional woman is going to look at black men and say, that's a traditional man. That's who I want. She ain't going to look at a dude that's not traditional and modern because remember, she knows her worth. She's going to demand her value. So if black man doesn't match her fly, he's off. But you just See, these women point, that are not Bola. traditional, these women that don't know what they need, they're going to pick the different types of dudes. And it's the same thing for men. When you're a traditional man, man you're going to look for that woman that matches your fly. Period. But, but Bolo, yes, you, sir. you really just proved my point. I said when I first came on this counter, a traditional man, a traditional woman have to have a man with traditional things. I get it. These two things are going to come together. So I uh, you, you, we can't hear you, security boss. I think you need it. Oh no, no, I'm talking to the people in the chat while y'all get, get that. Because oh. I think I agree. I think y'all have said a while back that you, that Bodo agrees with you. He's just telling you it's not for you to worry about. Of course, she's gonna have additional options, and of course, he's gonna have more options. But all you need is that one. But you both all agree. You more. He agreed with what you're saying, e man. So the he only point I'm saying is that you cannot, you can't expect traditional women to change themselves to agree to modern behavior 50 50 bills all these different things i really believe that they if they're traditional they're going to want some traditional things from the man and that was the biggest point that i was trying to make <laughs> that we can't just say that they got to do everything modern but no one said anything about that when, 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 hold on theory. when it comes to tra tradition though e-man we got to understand that you saying 50 50 what i'm saying to you back in the day i've seen marriages where, where the, the woman, woman worked. worked and the man worked and the woman still had a traditional mindset. She still came home and cooked those Thank meals. You. She still came right. home and did for her husband. She's right. still security boss is right here. She's right, right. here. Yeah. Example, my grandmother <laughs> right here. She's an example. Yeah. Talking about There's years ago. We talking I'm, about I'm, I'm talking years. about right now. Email. I'm talking no, about right now. There are women in my church. Let's hold on for one moment. Let's hold on for one moment. Let's hold on for Let's let's just take a break. Let's breathe. Hey, see, I must make sure I spoke to everybody. Um, somebody's gone, but I'm just gonna say hello to everybody. We're gonna do this uh money line. Y'all know what to do when I get the money line. It's a whole bunch of y'all up here right now. So I need y'all to breathe and we're gonna do the money line. Thank you, Michael Richardson, for the ten dollar super chat. And he said the only difference between a traditional marriage and a modern marriage is compromising and sacrificing for the family. Yep. Hello has it correct. He said what I wanted to say. That's the only difference. Yep. Well, then y'all, we shouldn't have any problems. Michael, I appreciate you. Thank you mu so much. You get the money line. Money line. I'm going to run it every time. Give me mine. Going up, need no decline. Yeah, yeah. Can I have this SB? Can I have this? Can I add this SB? But hold this, on, real quick, Bolo. Bolo, real quick. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, man. We're making history right now, Bolo. We're on the same page. We agree with each other. No come, come, come on now. Come on, come on now. Come on now. So listen. So <laughs> he's talking about women today. There's a 30 year old lady. It's a 30 year old woman at my church. She's married. She has four children, right? She said, I watch your show. I support you. I say, thank you. She said, sometimes I have to turn it off, though. I say, why? She said, because the women on there, they get on my nerves. Sometimes the men get on my nerves, too. Um, she said, because they talk about traditional women got to sit at home barefoot and pregnant or, or they got to sit at home and the man got to go out and do all the work. She said, I, listen, she said, I come home. I cook for my husband. I give him all massages. We have days on the calendar. What, what I do for him. I give him full body, all massages. When I get our work, she said, I'm working sometimes 50 hours, sometimes 40 hours, sometimes 60 hours a week. He's doing the same thing. He's a firefighter, so you know he's not at home. He's always being active. She said, and I still come home and cook meals. I take care of our four children. She said, I don't understand the women that say they can't do both. She said, I just don't understand why a woman can say, I can't work. If I'm working, I can't be a traditional woman. She said, because tradition, she said, I learned this from my grandmother, and my grandmother worked. My grandfather worked. She brought the, the pot home right. to granddaddy. And she Black still always I saw my mama do it with my with my dad. Now I'm doing it for my husband. And she said it's a it's a generational thing for me. And and here's mm -hmm. the thing, Black man, to add to you. The thing is this, man, when we're talking about traditional women, when yeah. you look at Proverbs 31, the scripture said the woman got up like a merchant ship. Yeah. She went and plowed the field. From Where afar. Where did the woman stay at Come home? On. Come on. 
which I don't, I'm trying to understand where we get this. You know what it is? You're getting, tra- you know what it is, man? And this is why we started reading the Bible ourselves. It's because yep. a lot of men and a lot of women, they don't read the book. Somebody gives it to you and you go off their thought process. If you open it yourself, where did the woman go? The woman did more work than the man in the house yep. because the men were out there trying to fight for freedom and fight for the, you know, the security. These women were out there handling their B.I. That's what a traditional woman is. A traditional woman keeps her eyes on the prize and she goes out in there into the world, get the degrees, get the PhDs, go into the workplace, get that bread and bring it back home. And she add, and look at security. Okay, let me, let me, let me, security yeah. Hold on, security boss. Hold on, hold on, real quick, E-Man. Security boss says she made $100,000. She would bring it home to her husband and say, here, baby, do what you need no, to do with it. Y'all miss it. What are we I talking never about? Said, I never said that the woman could not work. I said this 50-50 BS. That, that's what I said. I didn't say she couldn't work. I didn't say that she couldn't go out there and get a job. When I said 50-50, it triggered the YouTube algorithm in y'all mind said, oh, she at home. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> but, no one, but no one said no that, one said that, that No one said that. You're trying to make a joke. No one said that. So you, you were pushing back with information, 50, man. 50, we're talking it's still the same about, thing. Like, no, yeah, even. Not, I didn't think you that's said That's not really what the argument was, brother. Right. It, was just, no, it wasn't the, that. It was just the fundamentals of what a relationship, relationship is. is. Exactly. The fundamentals don't change. And yeah, that's what it was. You can go into different what eras, I but it doesn't change. Man, I don't know what the hell y'all are talking about. The fundamentals of a relationship back in 95 and the fundamentals in a relationship in 2022 is different because of the environments. The environments oh, are not good, even good. If I no, may, you, you, may have, you made an example about college. And I like to hey man, we, oh. hey man, we, uh, we missed what you were trying to say initially because we thought you were trying to say that they were fundamentally different, but you were just basically talking about the access. He just said it. At, Security boss, he just said that the relationship fundamentals are different today than they yeah, ever but were. He says, yes. But when he says fundamental, he's speaking about the access that we have on the internet and the access that we have to people, to individuals, whereas in 95, I was basically limited to my state or my community is where I would find a man or a man would find me. Whereas now you have Instagram, you have YouTube, you have all that's these- That's not a different- fundamental difference of anything. But that's what he said. That's was what this, E-Man, am I quoting you correctly, sir? Yes, you're right. You're right that if, if we really tell ourselves that Today, 95 and 2021 is the same. I, 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 I mean, 2022 is the same. I think we miss the, whole, the only what thing that's mouth? different about today than yesteryears oh, is the internet access to ca- to being able to uh, catch or someone's catch someone's attention. But that's once it. you get into time. a relationship yeah, with that person, I don't even say the that. The same fundamentals remain to maintain that relationship that were back in the day. I mean you still have to have communication skills, right? Yeah, still have to. Be, so that doesn't change. Just the, how you caught them changed. That's the it. bait that you use changed, but the words and the attention that you have to spend to that woman and a woman to a man, that shit still remains the same. When our great grandparents was alive, it's the same. Come on, man. E man, hold on. E man, think about the word you're using just a little bit longer. Give us another difference because you we've already said that. That think of another one. So, see, how are you doing? <laughs> I didn't get just answer the question. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Okay, okay. Wait a minute, Mandra. I'm sorry. Let's talk to C first because she's a young lady here. Go ahead, go ahead. You know we don't often get to talk to ladies. Sure, that's so, right. You see what I'm saying? You a man. Remember, she got on the dress and you're opening up the door. Let's see if she come on. Yeah, hey, that both side. Come on. <laughs> I said before, go ahead. As soon as you said, you said, let's see, go first. I was like, all right, go ahead. I know, but no problem. I know, but I just wanted an opportunity to share with you how your mind was initially. You get what I'm saying now? That's what I was. I'm 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 fine with it. I mean, (sighs) okay, don't worry. I'm just saying, don't forget about me, is all I'm saying. I wouldn't dare. (laughs) You know, I wouldn't. Okay, go ahead, see. Hey, good evening to everybody. Thank you for having me on Security Boss. You're welcome. Um, Thank you for letting me go ahead, Mandrell. I appreciate it. <laughs> oh, see, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. The door was um, open and she appreciated it. Hey, you see this? Dearly beloved. So, I'm loving this conversation. Um, I think that it's good that you defined the, the different topics because a lot of times we take things and we assume, you know, our own definitions and put it on there. And then 
um, we can be having a conversation and all along, you know, our definition of the two things are different. Um, I think when I think about traditional and versus modern, I think of it more so as a mindset as opposed to a dollar sign or something of that nature, roles and chores and things to do. Um, I think the main difference is that if you have a traditional mindset, you're coming under the the belief that there's a hierarchy in the home and that the man is the hierarchy regardless of the amount of money that he makes. And so if that means that the plan that he has for the home requires for you to work, then you work with a pleasant attitude. If the plan that he has for the home is that you stay home with your children, then you do that with a pleasant attitude. If his plan is something that is oppositional to what you want, you work on his plan, even in disagreement, as if it was your own. Mm. And I think that that mindset mm. is what makes it traditional. Mm. And that's why we can say, well, back then they had relationships and they didn't have money. And back then they had this, it was the mindset where we knew that being interdependent was what was going to make us mm. successful. <laughs> so, Kira, what did you find this one here? You just shocked us. I can't even talk no more. Her, you know, I got Bolo in the right pocket. Now, C is going to be in the left pocket. And, you know, whenever we need him, we're going to bring him out. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, I want to say something, Miss C. Miss C, that was amazing. That was amazing. Ladies, get your pen and pencils out. Men, get your pencil and pad out because y'all thinking that they, that the women, in order for them to, to, to be something, they, you know, you have to do more. And all this lady just, oh, good God. Hey, thank God for you, Miss C. I, I just, you you're amazing. Yeah, I'm going to give you a, I'm going to. 2020 Mr. To, 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 we with y'all. We ain't signing this over here in the chat. We ain't signing. How you doing? So he says men should speak first. And I said to him nicely, we are promoting gentlemen here over here. He says it's not uncool for a man to speak first. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. See, I advocate for men. We have an opportunity and I give value to men and I give value to women. In this particular opportunity, this young lady needs to speak because Mandrell has spoken. <laughs> so this is what I mean. You see, you didn't need to be the man at that particular moment because I understand men. I give you your props because we're just talking. But he's felt like he needed to be man. Y'all understand what I'm talking about? You remember I started off with this. Right. Yes, ma'am. This is what I started off with. See, you should note the room, feel the energy in the room. The energy in the room is with you. It's it's empowering you. It's valuing you. You don't even have to say anything. Mm -hmm. But this is what, yes, Jed, I go ahead. Oh, I didn't know. I just wanted to make sure, um, let me answer your question. Oh, okay. You, okay. So let me, before we answer before that. Before I interrupt you, I apologize. Oh, no, no, no. I don't see it as an interruption. We're just having a conversation. Mm -hmm. But um, before we're done with that, C, did you want to add anything else to your what you were saying? Please All do. Right. Please so do. Before she go, but we're going to come back. Before she, before we go to Jedi, we're going to say hello to Mr. J Speed. How are you, sir? I'm fine. And how are you doing? Doing well. Gl glad you're here. Um, we're going to speak to uh, Jedi for a moment and then we'll be back down here with you. Okay. Yes, ma'am. All right. Go ahead, Jedi. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to acknowledge like there was like a point that um, that uh, E-Man was talking about in terms about today. And you especially you said 98. I was born 98 and I here I am now. Right. And I can tell you that as someone who I could have every excuse to, you know, say, well, times are changed and everything is different. Well, obviously, I have a few of my like my mentors on this panel right now to tell you that um, because of the fact that, you know, when I, I realized that it might be the different battlefield, it's still the same spirit. You have to understand that um, as us as men, you know, men, we're supposed to be, you know, beings of strength, beings of wisdom. But more importantly, we're supposed to be it's beings of kingship and solitary sometimes. And that means sometimes that I'm not going to associate in certain behaviors, regardless of the environment that I might be in. Like that might be in whether I might be in 1998 or in the 70s or in 2022 in a college campus as I am right now. I can tell you is that uh recently i've been a very i've been like in a recent metamorphosis ex um uh, experience because i realized that especially when you know i don't try and get you know biblical for you you know you know have men or um uh, who are you know destined for purpose and also leadership god going to test you and put you in trials because this is an easy world where we can be tempted into falling to fleshly and more importantly unstable behaviors as of what information man was talking about 
and what is it that when you exhibit a proper decorum exactly in terms of the situation of like letting women talk or in the situation of i'm focusing my purpose and not indulging in childish like behavior i, I now realize that even then well, you might think that um, oh, well, women are not going to come this and everything like that is absolutely a lie because time is also the best um, the best medicine because it reveals all and it heals all. Right. And what I realized is that when I was focusing on my purpose, that I'm like because of the experience that I have, I went through recently that was hard times that so many people on the panel could attest to that. It led to me focusing on things to the point where the traditional man that you're talking about is that I'm forging right now. Like, again, I'm launching my business, which is launching this Friday. I'm also starting things where I'm I'm in the best you know, health and mentally, spiritually as well, because also knowing that if I'm not on state, if I'm unstable, it's not going to lead to my demise, but especially to the woman. And because of that, I realized that uh, my whole environment, because I increased in self-awareness along with accountability, I realized that a lot of the things that many realize when you're focusing on your purpose, things are like, it's a spirit that it's almost, I don't want to say a magnet that comes to you, um, but it does because women, and especially traditional women, they see that and they're very observant. They're not dumb creatures. They just, you know, they can pick and choose what they're going to do because they, they see all. They can choose to be stupid. They also can choose to be wise. So it's the same thing that when women, when they're watching children oh. to select the men that they want to pick, right? Like, they want to pick certain type of men. I can tell you this, and some conversations with Mandrell and black men, whatever. I recently had a situation with, with women that, even though, like I'm saying, I'm I'm dating. Um, she bought this whole um mic uh, mic stand for me because uh uh, and I I didn't like ask her to do that for me or anything like that. She's like, no, I just been watching you working hard. Let me just go buy you something. I was like, okay. And then I mind you. And two and a half weeks ago, I was in a, in a real, like very, very low spot. I wouldn't even think this would happen. But it was because I realized I was being tested. And I think a lot of men, when you're talking about we go into these excuses about this gender war, I'm declaring the gender war is over. Oh, you choose to be you choose to be the gender infinity war is over. Right. So it's just like if you as men, especially as leaders, we know we're supposed to be soldiers. But then we also knowing that when we. Uh, realize that uh, we're continuously fighting. Wise men and real leaders and kings, they choose to realize that, hey, I don't need to keep fighting a battle because I should not search a war doesn't need to be fought in the first place. I'm already won. So, so I, I think that on that point, uh, you, E-Man, you have to understand, going back to the point I made originally, that it still is that it might be the same battlefield. I might be a different battlefield, but it's still the same spirit, regardless of the, you know, the age, the race, demographic, or even the time frame of it being in either in the 70s, 80s, or currently today in 2022. Very good. I got something for you. I got, hold on for a minute. Um, I got something for you, Jedi. And Mandrill, as soon as we're done with this, I want you to go ahead and tell us what you think. Go ahead. Blue, I, you know. Blue, I, you know. H-I-O-B-E-T-A. Oh, yes. uh, yeah. All right, that's just for you. Yes. <laughs> All right, Mandrell, go ahead. Tell us what you think about this, sir. I think the original question is: Can can we value uh, traditional women? Yes, sir. Absolutely. Oh, we, yes. We've gone to the left, to the right, back around the corner. Yeah, but to the original question is: Can we uh, value traditional women? Absolutely. Absolutely, we can. And it's like to my point, what I said uh, earlier, you're going to run into your, both men and women are going to run into their fair share of trash when it comes to people. Because most people are just in, 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 going through life and when they get into something, they end it for themselves, you know? And um, that's what I want to do is put something together where myself, and I had this idea for Jay Speed here and Black Man Unfiltered and probably Hank that we get together and since we got Dusto, Men need to be taught how to be men. That's irrefutable and a universal truth. So why don't we put something together to where we teach men, boys, how to be men? We need to make content for that. You know what I'm saying? Because, so, Mandrell, I don't you know, want to interrupt you, but I want to add something to what you're saying. I need your help right now. Hmm. There's a uh, There's been some comments in the chat that's asking for us to define a man. Mm-hmm. Are you prepared to do that right now, or is I'm put, or am I putting you on the spot? You can ask me whatever you like. Okay, so can you give us a good definition of a man? A good definition of a man. A good definition of a man. A man is multifaceted. He's like a Swiss Army knife. You know what I mean? When he needs to be a scalpel, he's a scalpel. When he needs to be a pillow for a woman, you know, 
shoulder for her to cry on, he's that. When he needs to be a text to drop, no matter what he what what no matter what situation he's in, he needs to be able to adapt to that environment and perform at an optimal level. You know what I'm saying? He needs to be. People say he needs to be on his purpose. Well, a man doesn't know. You don't always know what your purpose is. And the confusing part is that our purpose is what we choose it to be. No one chooses it for us, not even God, because that would defeat the purpose of free will. We choose our own purpose in life. Now, whatever that purpose is, the man needs to stay on it. But we're human, so sometimes we fall off. So ladies would give us some grace. But that's what a man is. He's a Swiss, he's a Swiss army knife for the human species, human species. He's whatever he needs to be at the time he needs to be it. Okay. Now, did I stop you or were you getting ready to say something else? You just stopped me. I just, wanted, I just wanted you to add to that now. This is one thing I kind of I'm gonna push back on you with because I've we've had this conversation before, and I guess it is well somewhat of it. It all depends on the situation. I don't know what happened to um, J Speed again. I'm not sure. Connection um, Connection issues. The I wanted really hear what he had to say, so hopefully it gets together and he can come back up. But I wanted to add to you this, um, and I've said this to many people before. We've had this conversation. I don't know if everybody gets to choose their purpose. Um, I'm a teacher. I'm an instructor. I'm a teacher. And I don't care what I'm doing. That's who I am. That's who you want to be. Go ahead. Oh, no, 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 no. Actually, I fight it. It's not, it has nothing to do with what I want to do. It has nothing to do with what I want to do, what I want to be or any part of me. Not at all. I can be doing the, gosh, I could be mowing grass and the instructor comes up. Gotcha. That uh, has the nothing thing. to do. It has nothing to do with what I want to do. Gotcha. Here's the thing. You are. We. Everyone's born, and some people are genetically prone to certain things. Some people are genetically prone to be in track stars. Some educators like yourself. Some to be, what me a soldier. You know what I'm saying? A warrior. So, but that doesn't mean you have to do that. Now you can have the urge to do it. No, it's not that, that I have to do it. It's right. in me no matter what. No matter if right. I do it. I there, are some do it. That, there are some things that are in me no matter what, but I don't have to do them. I can it's choose not to. Well, there's something you but that that's totally different. I'm saying no matter what I do, it naturally surfaces. Naturally, it surfaces. Whether I'm trying to do it, whether I'm not trying to do it, naturally. I'm who I am, who I am. I am right. the person God made me. It's not something that I choose. Actually, the gifts that I have, sometimes I absolutely run away from them because I don't want them. Okay, same here. But, but, but at the same time, but at the same time, at the yeah. same time uh, if I choose to use my gifts, I'd be in prison. But uh, so <laughs> that's not the point. But I'm just going to the I'm point. Just saying, I'm a warrior just is a warrior, point. and you take a warrior and you put him in an environment where there's no water fight. Listen, he has to make a choice here. I'm just going to make a choice about Even though, Mandrell, you may, you, you may be a school teacher, you may be an astronaut. If the Lord made you to be a warrior, that at your core, that's what you are. So when she says that she's an educator in her core, so she can be underwater scuba diving. If a shark come up to her, she's going to educate the shark. I know mm-hmm. that's a, a real funny yeah. example. Again, yeah. but what, 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 you know, what you are is what you are. Everything else is just addendums to who you are at your core. So that's why the Lord says, before you were in the womb, I knew you. I knew what Mandrell was going to be. I knew a black man and what security boss is going to be because I knew him. And that's what I put them as. Now, you may do other things, but at the core of your heart, if the Lord made you to be a warrior, that's what you always going to be no matter where you are. You see something wrong, you're going to spring in there to set it right. Yep. Uh, All right. Can I, so can um, I bring up one thing here that uh, needs to be added just when it comes to being a man. I think oh. most importantly, just very oh, shortly oh, oh, here, oh, let's, let's, is get, having, let's get Mr. Speed in it. Hold that okay, thought because okay. we might need to end with what no you get because no we, we wanted it to find. So let's go with Mr. Speed first and then we can go back. Yeah, no problem. All right. Uh, can everybody hear me loud and clear? Yes, yes sir. sir. Okay, so uh, <laughs> thank you for letting me on with all the distinguished guests you have here in this panel. 
Uh, first thing I got to get out of the way, if these skin heads cut my damn cable one more time, we're going to have a fight on my, my block. <laughs> okay? So uh, dollar, get that out of the way. Um, 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 secure the boss. <laughs> yes, sir. You said something on one of your last bro- – well, I heard it on one of your last bro- – you said Duke Powell. I'm somewhere down the line. We're going to find out. we some kin to each other. We know each other. I was born in the Queen City, but I ain't going to go no further than that. But I'm going to say this. I think information man says something very important mm-hmm. in the beginning. Did I think that everything that everybody had to offer on this panel that I listened to, why I could listen to it before they cut my stuff, did I think all of it would work? One way or the other, I think, you know, we got different uh, freeways we can take from California to Georgia, but we all still trying to go in the same place. So I think all that stuff will work. But I think we really overlooked what he was saying in the beginning. And it made me think about a movie I was doing called Congo. It was a movie about taking a gorilla back to Africa that had already been in captivity all its adult life and trying to put it back into the mainstream of the jungle. Mm -hmm. And one of the things they found out by trying to put that animal back in the jungle was it didn't fit. So all this stuff y'all talking about, you're talking about things that you already write fruit, you're already there. I would disagree with you saying that we don't have some kind of um, mental um, challenges in all of us who's been in this captivity, regardless of how good you might do or how good, how well you are doing. You can't go through this traumatic experience that we have been going down. And I know most of the people who don't believe in this I ain't going to never be able to convince him, but I don't give a damn. I'm the oldest one on this panel. So I can tell you some things that has already been already in circle with the wagons. So what I'm trying to tell you is a line in the circus don't know it's a real line because it's never been outside of captivity. It's only going to do pony tricks and it's going to be associated with it, the environment that it's, that line is raised up in. So a lot of things y'all are talking about we just happen to be some of the lucky ones on our journey where we can captivate the things that we know that's going to benefit us as a person and a race. But the major problem is that is we got a lot of sick people in our race. And I'm not saying that they're not sick with the name that can't function, but you only as good as your culture and what you've been associated with. And that's why we have so many people in our culture and in our, in our race that is doing so bad. Because they are not the ones who, who, who survived this. And when I mean survive this, that mental challenge I was telling you about, it's survival mode. It's all they know. You can't teach something to something or expect something from something. No more than you can expect a one-legged man to win a two-legged race. He's handicapped. It's a lot of us handicapped, and we don't want to identify with that because when we identify with that, we're going to have to identify with the captivity. If we identify with that, we're going to have to deal with Jim Crow. If we identify with that, we're going to have to deal with racism. If we identify with that, we're going to have to deal with the system of white supremacy. If we deal with that, we're going to have to deal with slavery. And a lot of us don't want to deal with that. And that's why these problems keep coming up when spoke. And I understand the doctor is one. He wants yeah, his patient, I, he I, wants I'm to do a physical it. checkup on his patient with the clothes on. And he thinks he can be just as good with the clothes on and the clothes off. But one day he go find out what I'm talking about and what, what he hears about. And these discussions, that he's a little off with it. It might not never affect him in his life, but we're not talking about one individual. Everybody um, was on a Titanic. A titanic didn't die some people survived what made them survive and other ones did and so there's always circumstances that we really don't want to talk about the elephant in the room because we talk about the elephant in the room there's some shame in that and that's what it boils down to so just like i say each individual on this panel tonight offers some great great things that we could do as people to get us to that next level but just like, like i say when you start at your expectation is greater than the source you're trying to put it in, you will have a problem. Until you go to the root of the problem, 
You can keep cussing the fruit out all you want to. The root is what produced that fruit. And can, can I can I add to that real quick? I, I was I, just real quick, 10, 15 seconds. J Speed, I agree with you. And I agree that when a person is 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 walked around for a long period of time and they and they're doing everything for everybody else and they don't know who they truly are. Let me, let me give you this and I'm done. There's a show called The Man Who Fell to Earth, and the main character's name is Faraday. And Faraday walked up to a horse, and the man said, We he said, This is a beautiful animal. He said, Yeah, we use it for paintball. We shoot at them with paintball guns. He said, That's what this this horse was not meant to do. This when he walked off, the lady said, What was the horse meant to do? He said, when the horse knows his true purpose, it's going to kick that young man to death. So I agree with you. I agree with you that when you don't know who you are and you're walking around and, and people are just going to say what they want to say and they think they can use you for this. Year. But when you realize who you truly are, what your true purpose is, that's when you can make moves. So I, I, I do agree with that, J. Speed. You are on. You hit the nail on the head, brother. I, I appreciate that, that dialogue, brother. I appreciate it. And I do, I agree with, I agree with you too, because I think you were mostly talking about what information man, what information man said about mental exactly. illness, about mental illness. And I agree with him, but I still think at some point in your life, you have to account for what you do. Most certainly. Um, I mean, and, super, security boss, have you ever heard the research? Water has memory. No, I don't think so. Because there's a research that says water has memory. Your okay. body is 75% of water makes up of your blood what make you think that the things that you haven't experienced personally don't thrive in your dna oh it might i i i'm agreeing with you i agree with him but i still think at a certain time and i think we no, with me agreeing with him he said about 25 years old as for a woman your brain is fully developed and at yes. that for point both man and, for both man and woman okay in terms of your in terms of in terms of your development that's why we make a lot of mistakes but I think I, I agree with Jay Speed. Remember, uh, this is the area that we oftentimes don't want to deal with. Black people have been traumatized in this world and in this society. And part of that trauma does play into some of the dysfunction that we have and how we relate to each other. And until we deal with that fact and try to see how we can heal ourselves, if possible, I believe we're still going to have some of these problems that we debate about and have different dis dis disagreements about. Excuse me. Well, I agree with that, too, but we do, we just don't live here alone, though. Yeah, um, well, that's true. That's, that's my true. point. We don't live here alone. And if I, somebody and I identify with um, someone, I see it often that I see people that I have some mental illness and we can definitely identify with it. But again, you have to start holding people accountable at some point in time for what they do. So and, boss. Yes, sir. Uh, for the people who may be in the chat or people who might be listening to this further down for a rebroadcast, I can prove what I just said in, in pretty much a sentence. If there's nothing really wrong with us and we haven't been tra traumatized, well, go around the world, travel, as I have, and look at Black women in other places and look at Black women here. You can't tell me that you don't see a night and day difference. Night and day. There is. I mean, I, I, I it's not that I don't agree with you. It, but to no, me, no, I know you do. I'm, I'm just saying for the people who may oh, not gotcha. understood, because gotcha. most of the time when you start bringing up old historical stuff, per, uh person starts shaking their hands. Oh, here you go. There you go, playing that victim of Olympus, you know that, like, but they don't understand. I got 32 people in my house right now who's been traumatized in their life. And I understand our road and our journey I'm a lot better now than I did just 10 years ago. Well, just I, think, with I, them. Think, I think a big factor in this is culture. If I go to Africa versus going to America, it's a, a different upbringing. So we're gonna think different, we're gonna move different. So if you take, just because we have the same color skin, we had two totally different environment oh. mm -hmm. and so that, that I hear, was my I point you, so my biggest thing is this right here is yes we have trauma and i believe that i believe most americans regardless of the color of their skin have some form of trauma the biggest goal is we have to find a way to move past it and for us to move past it i know everybody got upset i made this on security boss at 18 
I stopped blaming my parents for anything that happened to me. They were responsible for me up until 18. And then at 18, I'm still going to make mistakes, but everything past this point is not my past responsibility. It is my responsibility because I am a man. And so as we start building ourselves, and the, I think the biggest reason people stay in trauma is they never take accountability of their own actions. And once I start taking accountability, once I start getting around people that had the things that I want, I learned that I started being a product of my association. One thing that we're missing in becoming a man is character and integrity. If you got character and integrity, the rest of the stuff works itself out. And so the, I'm just a bit... But, but that's, I, an anecdotal, I, that's an anecdotal experience, right? And some, of, and some men, that is an, no, that's for you. And I know it's because even, every man at 18 years old, and how long, you know, I'm gonna let you cook. Every man at 18 years old is not going to have that same mindset based on the fact of, of what's around them, right? So, E man had that. I'm not going to blame my mom. Your mind was there. I'm not going to blame my mom and dad for what happened to me. But the 18 year old in Chicago in that corner right now, not thinking like E man, the 18 year old in Alabama right now is not thinking like E man. As a whole, we have to be understanding and meet people where they are in order for them to change. Sometimes, E man, watch this. Sometimes people will have an, an, an information man can probably attest to this because he's a clinician of this i'm just i'm just the guy talking right now so sometimes people don't even know they have a situation until a situation happens and so watch this you can be bipolar at 15 but that shit don't kick in till you're 30. see so you never know that you have an issue until the issue meets you where you are and so i can say at 18 i mean i mean i have the mental makeup at 18 that you did but at 26 i may get it what's the difference i may make i may make mistakes from 18 to 25 and at 26 the damn light bulb goes off and then at the light bulb go, i become successful why why do i have to be why do i have to live in an e-man's anecdotal 18 year old mindset when it when mine is coming to 26 everybody ain't gonna get what everybody's gonna get at the age that they get it a lot. All right, so but wait a minute. I don't, hold on for a minute. Hold on for one minute. I'm going to let C respond to it, and I'm going to tell you why, y'all. We never have women talking, so I'm going to let the women talk a little bit, but it's been, on, we've, been here, we've been here three hours, and I'm not going to let y'all have me taking pills tonight. I'm going to tell you how this is getting ready to go. I'm going to tell you how this is getting ready to go. JC, check the uh, private chat, brother. Hold on. Okay. Let me tell you how this is getting ready to go. I tried to tell you, black man. Go to the private chat. Um, stream and says private yeah. on the top. Hit well, private. Y'all know I'm slow because I'm old. I know. Okay. Private <laughs> listen, listen, listen. I appreciate y'all so much. This is what we're getting ready to do. We're gonna let C respond, and then we're gonna do the money line song, and then we're gonna have information man. He's gonna have the last comment, and I'm gonna say good night. So mm -hmm. C, go ahead and respond for us, and then we're gonna do the money line. I wanted to respond to what um, Black Man and Filter just said. Go ahead. And I, I was. I'm writing notes over here. So information man, and I think OG Speed talked about um, the need to deal with trauma. And I think that we are responsible for um, working on those issues as they come up. But one thing that I did wanna say, I noticed that a lot of times in YouTube, we want to have um, an assurance before we get into something that things are gonna be okay. But I think that sometimes there are certain things that you don't learn or heal or are levels that you don't get to developmentally until you're in a marriage. Because being one-on-one -on -one with that person will rub things in you that nobody else has been able to get close up on. You'll learn triggers from your childhood as you have children. And when you begin to parent, you'll begin to understand your parents better. You'll learn that they grew up while they were raising you and then you can look back on the issues and those things, those triggers that you have. Some things only come out in, in the close proximity of marriage. And I think that if we wait and wait and wait for everything to be perfect before we do it, um, not saying that you should do it a reckless decision. It, there should be definitely planning to it. But if we don't step out and, you know, get the core things and build begin to build, we'll miss out on the opportunity to some of the best lessons I've ever learned. I've learned in marriage by, you know, being in that up close where you can't hide from yourself and, you know, and there's someone to call you out on it. So um, I agree with that. You, It's a constant work. And so I just feel like if you're going to do the work, do it with someone you love and have fun doing it. You know, I totally agree with you. I said off of that love, the love you have in a, a marriage relationship reveals all things. 
That, that's where the layers start to come off because you begin to trust and you love that other person and you become vulnerable with them. That's how all those those childhood traumas and all that stuff. That's why it comes out. That's exactly right. So you're right about that. You're right about that. And thank you for that. So let's do this money line. So listen, I want to see some shoulders shaking, some heads moving. OG, you listen, I know you old, but I know you done shook your shoulders before. I heard you talking about how you get up them strip clubs. So I need okay. you to do a strip club walk in a few uh -oh. minutes. You ready? Hey, I started off dancing. I ain't forgot about it. There you go. There you go. Hey, listen. <laughs> Let's get it. Come on with it. Michael, don't, that's don't it. Don't be messing up now. Don't get mess it up. I need, I need some shoulders shaking. So listen. Watch Michael, what just, I do. You watch you so what I do. You ain't got to ask for it. It's coming. Okay, wait a minute. Watch it. Michael Richardson, thank you so much for your $10 super chat. And he says, my opinion, a man is a protector, provider, and an educator, nurturer, role model for his family. Very good. And guess what, Michael? You get the money line. Money All right, y'all. I don't see the... Oh, oh. He got the two child bounce. <laughs> money line. Bolo, I don't see you, but I know you move your shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all yeah. are too funny, but information. Yeah, exactly. I know that's right. I'm yeah. gonna let you take us out of here. So go ahead and say what you're gonna say, sir. I just wanted to talk about principles around manhood, and I think I think um, this might have been mentioned, but um, I think character and principles and values that a man possesses through learned through mentorship through people and you watching it in your household, you're watching men in your community raising you will exemplify manhood because it's down. It's about, it's about your principles as a man. Do you care about your family? Do you care about your community? Do you, so, do you take care of your family? What do you, what do you, what do you stand for? What, what, do, what are you willing to sacrifice? See, being a man is about also, and I know people don't want to hear this, but it is about a sacrifice because when you get married and you have a family, you are sacrificing yourself as a man when you have to protect your family or when you make sure you get a proper health insurance policy so that if something happens to you, your family's well taken care of. Men, we were built and put on this planet to solve problems and exemplify leadership. But the only way we can learn this is if we have proper male in our community like a father and if we can't get it from a father and an uncle then it goes back to what jay speed just said and mandrell talking about doing a a, ch a channel or videos about giving uh brothers principles of what manhood is this is what's missing fundamentally we have young men and this goes to what he what, i know that's that iman was saying that well you know I grew up and I had certain certain uh, principles and I live it out. But we have a lot of young men out here who are growing up and they have something missing in them and they need men to be in their life to mentor them through. The reason why I'm, I'm, I'm passionate about that, because you got a five beta sigma on here, but I'm an alpha. OK, <laughs> and we do this kind of work. We do mentorship, you know, the whole nine yard alpha academy and. That's why I'm, I'm personally passionate about that. That's how we change and help this trauma is doing something to get to our young men who may not have had a male in their life and try to let them see a more positive image of what men are and take them by the hand and say, young brother, let me show you by example what it is to be a man. Because kids, young people look at what we do and not what we say. So I, I just want to leave you with that. Very, very good. And Larry Cash, no, we're not missing it, brother. <laughs> Y'all have a good night. Listen, it's Thank been you. a joy. We're going to do this again. I will be back with you on Friday at 4 p.m. And we're going to do this all again. I'm not going to tell y'all the topic, but it's going to be a good one. So y'all make sure y'all here at four o'clock if you can. And Brittany B, I enjoyed you so much for being here. I hate you got to work. And C, <laughs> thank you so much for coming up. And you know, guys, y'all know I love y'all. I see y'all all the time. So y'all come where I go. I, I go with y'all. Like Tommy. That's why you see them all the time. They ain't got no jobs. <laughs> So get, we, we just got to get you a husband. We'll work. We'll get it worked out. We're gonna work it out. It's all good. You gotta get Mandrill. Why? Yeah. I think I think Sakira gave up on that. 
Yeah. I'm not giving up on you. What do you mean? Oh, yeah. by the way, security boss, before you leave, you and Mr. Mr. Boss look for me to message you next week on IG. We have to continue. I take the first steps. Okay, I got you. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Just looking for further. Right. For, point me in the next so, direction. Uh, I will say this before y'all go because that's going to be a great conversation uh, tomorrow as well. Uh, on, uh, on, on Black Man Unfiltered Network on tomorrow, we're going to have a panel full of ladies again because we're trying to get to the root of the of the, of the concerns here. And we're going to talk about femininity and uh, is it an on and off switch and is traditional femininity dead? So uh, it's, it's me, see, I'll, I'm going to email you to see if you could be on that tomorrow because I would love to have your perspective as well. That's, and Brittany, you know, she can take our work. That would be great too. But anyway, <laughs> I gotta bring okay. her bread home. She gotta take care of herself for a little bit longer. I know. I know. She, she wait no man drill. All right, y'all. Y'all yeah. have a good night, and I will see y'all on Friday. But y'all see me through this week. Good night. 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 And I'm just sitting, smoking, sloping in the days Cause my days ain't been the same since I drove here I remember the way you wrote letters in blue ink You and me was in love Come up, what your crew think? I know your moms probably think I'm a bastard Your pops probably wanna beat my death and take up in my casket But I got sick of fighting, bickering, fussing Over nothing, cussing Instead of watching the death of discussions that we once had, days that we once spent in the backseat of our cars, we the poets at sunset. It's funny how love can pull out the foreground, get pushed into the back of your mind. We used to twist his bluff and laugh and relax and be crying. And I'm trying to find the reasons, so I ask, does forever ever happen, or is it always fade to black? I can't stay. No, I always gotta go. Playing house to stay home with my soul on the road. I can't stay. No, I always gotta go. Playing house to stay home with my soul on the road.